and we should be good to go. Uh, it's been a couple of days since we've done this streaming thing, but what is going on, everybody? How you guys doing? Give it one second for everything to refresh here on the live page, and there we are. Cool. Oh, and it kicks me out of my dashboard. Okay, nice. Sweet. So... I'm excited to premiere some DLC 3 gameplay for all you guys. Oh, what is up? What's up, Lizzie? What's up, Mike? What's up, Infection? What's up, Adam? Uh, what's up, Control? What's up, Knight? What's up, AK? What's up, dude? What's up, DMT? Typical new gamer. Uh, Matt Simmons. Racing. Whiffles. What's up, everybody? What's up, Alex? How you guys all doing? We got 140 people up in the stream already right off the bat. What's up? Are you guys excited for DLC 3? Because I'm telling you right now, what you're watching is... So much fun. So much fun. And you might already notice the other surprise if you're looking at the uh, the gameplay here. I got a new basic training on this. I got a new basic training that's coming for DLC 3 that is a ton of fun. A ton of fun. And it's very nostalgic. If you guys have played Modern Warfare 3, Ghost even, you'll know what it is. What's up, everybody? How you guys all doing, man? I'm sorry I can't keep up with chat immediately right here. Real quick, before we jump into anything, before we jump into like any AMA questions, answers, all that kind of stuff, what do you guys think of the audio? Audio good? My levels? Gameplay? Equal? They cool? Uh, did I play with the ride shield? Um, I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. That's something that uh, there may or may not be more information up on the channel tomorrow uh, about that. But today we're showcasing two maps in particular, and then some, some of course, uh, some of the new basic trainings. I actually only played around in the gameplay that you're seeing today, actually with the one, but you can see that the first basic training on that list of things you can work up to, you probably haven't seen that icon because that's brand new as well. That's the basic training called Escalation. What I'm using right now is the specialist basic training, and it is honestly a blast in the past, so much fun. And then there's one that's called Wonderlust, which will detail all that stuff in a video tonight. But for a brief overview for that kind of stuff, Specialist, of course, gives you a score that works up to earning more basic trainings, and then you also end up at that Specialist bonus, getting all the basic trainings like you would previously, and it is a ton of fun to play around with. Um, new training? Yes, sir. Yeah, new basic trainings. Dude, there's so much fun. There's, like, one that's just for fun. That's Wonderlust. I don't know if I'd use it in a practical standpoint. Uh, specialist is just all around amazing. And then Escalation is great because it, one, after, I think every kill or something, you aim down sight faster. Uh, like, so you snap quicker. And then after every double kill, you actually, your magazine is replenished and topped off. You don't have to reload. So it's pretty cool. So like, if you're one of those people that are like running into, I run into all these different encounters where there's like three, four people, but I'll like only get two, maybe three of them because I'll run out of ammo. Like if I'm using a PPSH with rapid fire, you burn through ammo on that thing pretty quickly. But if you end up having this escalation basic training, then you end up having that topped off. You can get all four because you won't need to worry about your ammo because it'll just replenish automatically. So it's really cool. What's up, Breakfast? How you doing, man? What's up, Vlogging Gamer? Uh, any new guns confirmed? I think I can talk about that tomorrow. Um, new snipe? No, the, the one thing that I will say, uh, right off the bat, is that one that everybody picked out. I forget, it's the Delisle or something. That weapon was not in the build that we played. That was in the trailer for a very, very brief second, so my guess is that whenever we see the next event, probably two, three weeks after the Attack of the Undead event ends as of Tuesday... Uh, that's probably when we'll end up seeing those new, that being a, one of the new weapons that's dropped. I don't know, though. Uh, I didn't get to play around with that one in particular. Um, but I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. There's a lot of stuff that, unfortunately, I can't talk about just yet. It's embargoed. Uh, so tomorrow is, like, kind of the, the next big thing that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, be being able to show off and, and all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's a great amount of fun. I'm, oh, I'm super stoked for this DLC. I think you guys will enjoy it if you guys are a fan of COD World War II still. It, it adds a lot of new stuff and a lot of new fun features that I think you guys will enjoy. What's up, Oscar? How you doing, man? Uh, it's gonna be OP on shipment. Oh, it's gonna be great all around, man. It's gonna be great all around. Are there specialist bonus? Yes, sir. You you know it. You know it, man. So, the way that it works out is a little bit different than that of, um, than that of obviously, what we saw in Modern Warfare 3 and Ghost, uh, because you got, what, kills and, I think, caps counted towards your specialist 
Um, but now it's just pure score. So if you get assists, you get UAV, you get counter recon, even that kind of stuff, it counts towards earning your next basic training. So right off the bat, you can pick three, and then of course after that 800 point streak, you end up getting all your specialist, all your specialists, and all the basic trainings in the game. Uh, I don't want to talk about what just happened there. We're we're gonna blow past that. that that little death there didn't happen but yeah so it's you get to pick your first three and then after you hit that 800 score streak it is everything unlocked right there in your super soldier it's so much fun to play while on specialist bonus it's actually ridiculous has the new war map uh i'll have gameplay for it tomorrow but i think it actually is my favorite of all the war maps we have yet so far um this map looks like war map husky uh yeah it kind of yeah i think it's the, the night um the, the night theme there. What does Wonderlust do? Uh, so Wonderlust is a, a basic training that'll allow you to, instead of swapping weapons like you'd hit triangle or Y, um, that's something that whenever you have that, you, you press triangle or Y and it'll actually change the weapon out for you. So it's kind of like gun game in a basic training. Is this the new division? No, uh, this is not the new division. I, again, I'm pleading the fifth on that one. Um, what's up, Dead Wolf? How you doing, man? The Mosinagant is not in the game, unfortunately. Not, at least not to what I, I have seen. But. Nice, but thank you, Martin. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, Stalingrad does have a very nice array feel to it. Any war gameplay starting tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, it's embargoed until tomorrow. Um... Sorry, chicken. What's up, TXL? How you doing, man? Um, yeah, but dude, Stalingrad is a lot of fun. I, that was probably the one map that I didn't really get the hang of all that much. I had one good game, and you'll see it here in the stream. Uh, we're probably about, I don't know, 30 seconds away from showing that gameplay. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't get much great gameplay on it. The one that you're seeing is probably the best gameplay that I have on that map afterwards. But it's a capture the flag, full special. Dude, I'm going to tell you straight up right now. Specialist with uh, capture the flag, like specialist bonus and capture the flag is going to be ridiculous. I captured like three flags just straight through like relay. Um, we broke up the half and then uh, like two in one half, one in the other. And it, dude, it is so, so fun to play around with. Because you're like, if you're especially a flag runner, you're super fast then at that point. If you have everyone plus all your basic trainings and then... It all works out together, but... What's up, Nathan? How you doing, man? I never get shouted out. Shout out to you, Nathan. Uh, what do you think about the new Riot Shield? Uh, I'm intrigued to see what you guys think, uh, because I... Uh, again, I'm pleading the fifth on that, because I don't know what I'm supposed to say, what I'm not supposed to. But uh, how you playing it early? Right now, this is pre-recorded. My hands are not on the controller. I went out to Sledgehammer Games as of Wednesday, and then I actually got back yesterday. And I'm super tired, and I think that I'm getting sick from all the travels that I've done. But fortunately, I have a couple of weeks off now before I go out on a, just a family vacation, not even anything for YouTube. But um, so I get to finally chill out, stream a little bit. Dude, you best believe we are going to be streaming the DLC as soon as it comes out, grinding it out, crushing it, all that good stuff. What's up, Dead Wolf? How you doing, man? Stalingrad. Yep, now we switched over into Stalingrad here, and this is, uh, this is a really. Again, I was playing some some great YouTubers, um, and my teams, 90% of the games that we played on Stalingrad, so I guess maybe like, probably not even 90, because we played maybe like five, six games on Stalingrad. Probably five of those six games, I, I had literally just Slayers, and like, my aim felt one off. Two, we just kept getting like, destroyed. And so therefore, it didn't work out for the best gameplay, but this gameplay was manageable. Uh, you'll see that we end up getting the specialist bonus for the majority of the game. Um, uh, not too much is up for me, sports opinion. How you doing, brother? Uh, we showed the other maps. Yeah, so today I can only show Stalingrad as well as... Um, I can only st show Stalingrad and Market Garden. Um, which are depending on Black Ops 4 in the gameplay. Uh, well, we're focusing more so on World War II with this one, but Black Ops 4, real just to give you that... the quick brief overview i really enjoy black ops 4's gameplay uh i'm looking forward to it i know some people are kind of on the fence but any throwback perks uh not to my knowledge we didn't see anything um like whenever you went into like custom matches or something like that like the the local play like it was on a dev build it's there because they have stuff that like 
is previous already logged in and backlogged. But like in terms of the playlist for what we'll see in this update, I don't think we're gonna be seeing that again. Um, what do you think about um, adding Bull Rod to the game? It's for spy pistol. I mean, I think it'd be cool. I'm all for new weapons. And again, World War II is one of those eras in which there's so much that you can play around with that I, it like it's it's actually kind of crazy that we only have this still finite number of weapons. But, yo, we have 400 people watching the stream right now. Thank you guys all so much for coming out. I greatly, greatly appreciate you guys coming out supporting the stream. And, of course, getting hyped for DLC 3 here at this one. Uh, that said, if you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you drop a like down below. Let's try and get a little like spike up in the stream. And, of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. We got DLC 3 early gameplay today, tomorrow, Monday, and then into launch on Tuesday. So, if you guys are interested in that, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. What's up, Asen? How you doing, man? Um... What type of score streaks are those? This is the brand new basic training specialist. So if you guys played Modern Warfare 3 and or Ghost, Ghost had a slight variation of it. Um, I don't think that it was as intense, if I remember, as Modern Warfare 3. But you end up getting up to 800 scores. Uh, 800 score, you get 200, 400, 600. That's your first three basic trainings you earn. And then when you hit 800 score, then you get every basic training in the game equipped. And so you're essentially this super soldier. And it's so much fun. You'll see in this gameplay, like, it, you move super fast. You have everything equipped. It's great, man. It's great. It's great. Yeah, dude, it's 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 a lot of fun. The only problem that uh, I, I was kind of upset about was the fact that uh, I, I got only a few basic um, specialist bonus, like, basic training um, streaks with this. Because we were playing some gods, man. Like, half the games I played against Swag XBL, and dude, I... I love the guy, but I hate playing against him just because he's too good. He's too good. Um, uh, Daryl, just try try refreshing the page. Hope this draws people back in. I think it'll be great, man. I think it'll be great. Is there any new game modes? Uh, we didn't play any uh, in this this build. I'm gonna adjust my because I'm like leaning forward, and then there we go. Now we're good. Um, this map looks quite big. It's not as big as it looks. It plays a lot smaller. Um, the only thing I will say about this map that I wasn't too big a fan of was the fact that we end up seeing, uh, you can, you can get spawn trapped hardcore in this map. Like, I'm, this is literally right, like, their spawn, and I'm running through it, and they're still spawning there. So that's the only thing that I'm hoping to see adjusted out of, uh, this map in particular, is just some adjustments to the spawns. Um, but, we'll see if that happens or not. Uh, am I gonna be making any videos of the gameplay? No, I'm gonna be doing a video later tonight in particular, talking about the basic trainings and detailing everything for that, probably. Um, I might have one more tonight also, but I'm not sure just yet. But regardless, what you see here in the stream will turn into a video. So if you miss the live stream or you miss any certain point, you can end up always going back and, and checking it out also. Um, which map is my favorite? Uh, I really, really enjoyed um, Monte Casino, which we'll showcase tomorrow. Uh, out of the three, out of the two we're watching right now, Probably the first one, Market Garden, is my favorite of these two. Just because I had some bad experiences on Stalingrad earlier on. This was, like, one of my best gameplays, I think. And you'll see that I don't even get that many kills. But it's just the fact that, like, we had the Specialist streak. We were playing objectively. And that's the big thing with Specialist is that if you play with Specialist, um, you're going to have a grand old time if you play objective. Because anything regarding, like, UAV, counter UAV, assists, capture points, all that kind of stuff... It counts towards your specialist bonus and what specialist streaks you earn because it is simply score. It's not anything like what we've seen previously. Again, Modern Warfare 3 was, I think, like captures and then kills. Uh, but assist and all that kind of stuff, unless you had hardline on it, didn't really count towards it, I don't think. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot more... I don't want to say easier to get compared to like Modern Warfare 3, but it, it is definitely playing more so objectively out of that grand thing. So... Any new basic trainings? Yeah, so you're watching right now specialist gameplay, which is you pick three basic trainings at first, and then at 800 score, you get every basic training in the game. Then, plus, you also have one called Escalation, which I was running not on this gameplay, but when I was running the STG in the earlier gameplay that we, we cycled through. Uh, Escalation is something that, like, when you get a kill, you're, you aim down sight and you snap faster. Plus, if you get double kills, it tops off your magazine automatically, so you don't have to reload. And that's great, because, in my personal opinion, dude, I always always have this scenario where <laughs> where I'll, I'll jump into a game and, and there'll be like three four people that i'm gonna try and take out like i sneak behind him somehow but i only get off like maybe two, two maybe three of those kills because i run out of ammo because i usually run say ppsh and rapid fire and dude just having it top off by itself is gonna be so much greater because you of course get that extra ammunition then 
Um, did I meet to? Did I get to meet Corporal Green? I did not. <laughs> uh, can you still get a V2 rocket with running specialist? Yeah. Uh, we we're playing custom matches, but I think Swag actually got one. Uh, in terms of like the the gameplay streak. So. New event. I'm not expecting one to come as of the event itself, but I am expecting it to. Uh, I am expecting it to come like two, three weeks afterwards. But. What's up, Brian? Um, yeah, so you didn't really miss much. We're just cycling through some gameplay. We're going to be cycling through maybe once, twice. Uh, I don't know how long we'll stream here for this one. Um, it is early enough in the day that the fact that I, I can keep going for a little bit, but. Heard about the Riot Shield, did you? Yeah, uh, Sledgehammer showcased that a little bit in the uh, the blog post, but uh, I I I don't I don't know much on that. I don't know much. <laughs> um, Mark Garden reminds me of Courtyard. That's actually a great comparison. I didn't think there was this again when we jumped in and played. I was like, dude, some of the stuff just seems so so familiar, but I can't for the life of me. Put a finger. That's a great comparison, though, man. Um, will I be showcasing the war new war map tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow we got some secrets uh, as well as new war map and the map uh, Monte Casino. Monte Casino is probably my favorite out of this map pack, so I'm super excited to play around with that one. How do you think the shield will work? Uh, do you think you'll get to use it? Uh, well, again, I'm gonna. I, I don't know how much that I know. Uh, all I can say is that maybe stick around tomorrow on the channel if you're interested in that. Um, so yeah, again, there's, with embargoes, it's kind of weird because I don't know what I can say, what I can't say. Uh, so again, just stick around tomorrow. I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, is DLC 3 out now? No, unfortunately, my, like, my hands are off the controller. I wish it was out now, man. It was so much fun. I went out to Sledgehammer earlier in the week to play DLC 3, capture it, and, uh, hang out with some of the, the dev team, get to talk with them a little bit, have some casual chats, but, uh, will I showcase zombies? Yeah, it should, I think, be Monday as the embargo. Um. PPSH Iron Curtain 2. Oh, dude, I wish. I was really hoping. I, I I, made sure to, like, meticulously go through and see if it was, like, in any of the variant lists, but I did not see it in the build we were playing. But that's not to say they don't add it after, like, whenever we get new new content refresh in the Quartermaster and all that kind of stuff. Again, my, my thinking is that we're going to get a new event about two weeks after the DLC launches. Here, you see the basic training escalation just popped up. That's one of the brand new ones as well. But um, can you get a V2... No, I don't think you can. I, th I think that it's turned off in custom um, for what the what we were playing. I don't know. I'm doing great, King Designs. What's up, Panda? Looks at dude. It's a dude. These maps are so fun. Not to mention the new basic training. Like I said, we we ended up getting uh, new basic training showcased. Specialist is what you're watching right now, and I think for the majority of the gameplay, out of what I have, I don't think that I switch in these gameplays that we showcase. I don't think that I have anything like that. But. Uh, outside of the specialist, but dude, specialist is so much fun, truly. Uh, does it just give the basic weapon with no attachments? I actually don't know. I didn't play around with it all that much. I think I have like one gameplay of it. Um, I think it might be the bare weapon, but I, I can't confirm. Any word on prestige rewards? I don't have any more information on that. I know I'm, I'm no, I'm, I know I'm kind of playing around with some of the other stuff that you guys are asking, like, oh, I don't know much, but like, massive prestige rewards. I actually have no clue. Um. Yeah, Matt, my uh, my aim was so different because here's the here I'll I'll give you a basic rundown of how this stuff works. Is like my monitor and my desk is like right here, so I have my arms situated and I like lean into it. But whenever we end up playing at Sledgehammer, um, it was a like it's a different and this sounds so dumb. It sounds so dumb, man. But like when you even just the way you have like yourself situated, even the slightest changes can throw off your gameplay. Like my chair arm on my desk, my desk chair is like ripping out, and so it's like leaning to the left, and that's when I started noticing. It's like, dude, I am not playing Call of Duty as well, and I'm like, wait a second, dude, it's it's my arm chair. Like what? <laughs> so even the slightest things throw me off. But yeah, like I I was playing like like with my controller in my lap. So I, I didn't get to see all that much uh, of like a stability factor that I had compared to. So yeah, the, the aim is definitely off. It sounds again so dumb, but like I swear, dude, those minor things throw me off. What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? Is this the best DLC? Uh, I really enjoyed this one. Um, I think that the war map in particular is probably my favorite war map out of uh, the war maps we have. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting my hands on that one. Um, 
are there a new division or is there a new division again i i don't know anything about that um all i know is that sledgehammer t something saying call in the cavalry and we may or may not have gameplay explaining that tomorrow <laughs> yeah ocean you are definitely not the only one man definitely not definitely not the only one um what's up mark how you doing bro what's up chris Dude, yeah, Ocean, that, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, it's the smallest things that will throw everything off like that. Everything. Um, isn't gonna be over, wait, isn't Escalade gonna be overpowered with the... Alex, I'm not sure I understand your question. Uh, what's the weird looking patch on the arm? Um, I don't know. I don't know, Bravo. I don't know. You might... Yeah, y if you look at some of the, the fan theories, I don't know, man. <laughs> Will I be able to show any zombies to us? Yeah, on Monday. So today it's we are focused on Market uh, Market Garden, Stalingrad, and then also some of the new basic trainings as well. Um, but there's there's actually like embargo rules for how things work out. Um, but that's something that tomorrow we have uh, Monte Casino, the war map, uh, Operation Supercharge, and uh, among other things, some some other cool things I can show off then. But what's up, Mac Max? How you doing, dude? How was it playing against TKO? TKO? Dude. TKO was a beast. That's And that's the thing that, like, kind of sucks. Is that half the games, I was against TKO and Swag. So just... <laughs> some, of the, some of the stuff you might even see in, in Swag or TKO's videos that I'm not going to put up because they weren't my, my best moments. Um, at one point, like, I just could not move out of spawn. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to check my phone. I'm going to check Twitter a little bit. Uh, so I, I just put the controller down at that point. <laughs> New score streaks? No. No, unfortunately not. What's up, Toxic? How you doing, man? What's the specialist? Is it a basic training? Yeah, so it's a basic training that kind of gives you, like, it's weird how it's set up. Um, so when you think about basic trainings and choosing them, you get the basic training, it says specialist, and then underneath it, you can pick three basic trainings that you start out with. So it's kind of like you have a basic training within a basic training, um, but it's something that you can rank up, you can get, uh, you can get three Firstly, for 600 score, that's when you get all three years. Whenever you get that 800 score streak, that is whenever you end up getting... Uh, that's when you get all the basic trainings unlocked. So it's actually insanely awesome. Uh, did Activation pay for my flight? Yes. Yeah, they play, They pay for flights and uh, hotels. Uh, no problem, Undead. What's up, Bandar? How you doing, man? Just tuned in. What's the score streak stuff? So this is what you're watching, the brand new basic training spe uh, specialist. And, dude, it's, again, I'm telling you, it's so much fun. If you guys are nostalgic of Black, or Modern Warfare 3, dude, this'll, this'll be a blast from the past. Do you think there'll be an Independence Day event? Uh, timing might work out as such. Because what we got, like, 10 days between, probably 9, because July 30, let me see. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 10, yeah, 10 days. Um, I mean, it's possible. It would be one of the quicker ones that we see a turnaround for, but if, if it, like, launches on... What is, what is the, the fourth? Is it a Tuesday? Because that's when we usually see those things happen. Um, July 4th is a Wednesday. So maybe we see it on the 3rd. Maybe we see a week turnaround. I don't know. Uh, that'd be, again, the quickest we'd see a turnaround in terms of a new event, but it's possible. It's possible. Uh, anything about new weapons? Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Roblox. I got some of the gameplays that probably aren't going to be on my channel, but other people's channels. I, I did get clapped at times. So. I didn't expect to come here while you were live. Hey, what's up, Jakku? How you doing, man? Do I parachute down in war? Um, I don't know if I can talk about that just yet, but I'll say this, the trailer's pretty straightforward and there's nothing really hidden in that. Um... Any news on DLC yet? Uh, Ryan, uh, I can neither confirm nor deny. Uh, do you think an Independence Day... Again, I think an Independence Day event is possible, but I don't know. Because, again, um, the Tuesday... July 4th is on a Wednesday, so maybe we'd see something happen on the on the 3rd where, with an update. But I don't know, because that's, like, that's... Again, the fastest turnaround we'd see from event to event yet. Um, Bravo, the weird patch... Um, all I'm gonna say is maybe I'll have maybe I'll be able to explain that tomorrow on the channel. Um, but right now I don't I, I I don't know much. 
I, isn't that funny? I'm gonna miraculously have information. I'll pro I'll miraculously know what's up tomorrow, but today I don't. <laughs> what's up, JCCU? How you doing, man? Yeah, I'd love to see a 4th of July event, though, dude. I, I love whenever these new events happen, because it makes everything so much fat. Like, it makes... Not faster. It makes everything, like, so much more interactive with the community. The one thing that I really hope, though, man... One thing that I really hope is that if we see new events, I really, really don't want all the weapons dropped at once. Because then it's just like, oh, everybody, we have new stuff right now. But then, like, two weeks down the line, you have a new game mode, and that's about it. Like, it... I think new weapons put in intermittently would definitely keep the player count consistently high throughout the entire event instead of like it it peaks up and then it like trails off uh have i have i shown any war not yet uh that's tomorrow what's up schizzle how you doing man is it out yet no it's out on tuesday but i was out at sledgehammer games uh capturing footage earlier in the week and uh therefore we got some cool cool stuff to showcase all throughout the weekend i'm super super stoked man this is why i love you we're all hey Appreciate that, Roblox. Again, dude, that's what I love about, like, live streams in particular, is that, like, we can just literally chat about everything. And it's great. It's great. What are those score streaks? So, what you're witnessing, my friends, is the brand new basic training specialist. And it's exactly how you might think of it as acting in the same way that Modern Warfare 3 had specialist, where you get a certain amount of kills or caps, and in this particular case, score... And then you end up getting new basic trainings on top of that. So your three that you can choose, again, are up to that score, 600 score. Um, I was running for the most part. This gameplay, not really, because I was running the STG a lot. I don't know why, dude. I found, like, the STG was fantastic again uh, while I was at, out of Sledge. Like, bar, PPSH was decent. Um, but then, like, other weapons that I'd normally use, like, I, I don't know why. I just wasn't having any success with them. But I changed around to be the STG, and it's fantastic. But, yeah, so... You can pick your three first basic trainings, and then once you hit that 800 score, you get all of them. All of them. So you're a super soldier, and it's awesome. What mic do I have? The Blue Yeti. Um, will it need a physical update? Yeah, it's going to have a title update. Um, did you talk to the new Studio Hut? Uh, yeah, I actually met Aaron um, back whenever I did the sledge stream for Attack of the Undead. Super awesome guy. Um, he's very busy, though, so I didn't get, I didn't get all that much time to him. Uh, to talk to him. Like, a lot of the other guys, they're they're always around to talk, but the, I mean, when you're the studio head, you're in and out of meetings, literally, like, your your time frame's probably, like, scheduled to, to a T. So, I got to I got to talk to him for a couple minutes. Great guy, though. Um, super nice. Do you think DLC, uh, DLC 4 will come out before Black Ops 4? Yes. Yeah. Um, will there be any new variants in this build of the game? I don't know. Um, we usually see the, that kind of stuff, like, refresh when we have events. And I'm not expecting this to come with an event. What we played at the, um, on this build in particular, I didn't, like, when we, like, were scrolling across headquarters and stuff, it didn't seem like there was a thematic headquarters with it. But that's not to say that there's not an event coming up, because we usually get events every, I don't know, two, three weeks after an event ends. So it's a very quick turnaround time, but people are saying maybe July 4th we have one. That's possible, but that also would be the quickest turnaround we've seen yet in terms of events. That'd only be about a week. Uh, what's up, Garlic? How you doing, man? What's up, Mega Frosted? Can't run kill streaks with it? Um, no. So specialist is essentially it, like it again replaces what your your kill streaks would be for that. But you end up getting to become a super soldier, which is awesome. Will Butcher make a return? Probably within the next event. Um, I think that even the Sledgehammer blog said that he's going away for uh, after the Attack of the Undead event ends. But imagine what the Halloween event, dude. Halloween event would be really cool. Um. Oh, camera dodge. My favorite COD or two COD YouTubers in the same game. Hey, appreciate that, brother. Uh, isn't it unfair when you reach special? Um, yes and no. Uh, you become obviously very good, but a lot of the stuff like within basic trainings, um, I don't think necessarily is too big of a deterrent if you're going up against it. Like you see, I I ended up going on the specialist streak here with this one, and then I ended up dying. So. Can you use specialist for war? I mean, yes, you can, but because you don't get, like, streaks, it doesn't do anything. So you, you essentially just waste your basic training. And I was even talking to um, one of the developers, and, he, like, I didn't even think about it because I had specialists on every class. He's like, you might want to change your classes, man, because you're, you're not going to get anything out of that. Um, which map did I enjoy the most? Uh, Toxic Commander, I think that I enjoyed Monte Casino, which is tomorrow's multiplayer map. Plus, we'll showcase war and... Again, some other secrets here also with that one. Um, but 
out of these two that we showcased here, this one, I'm going to say that I enjoyed Market Garden a little bit more just because I had better games overall. This was probably the only good game that I had on Stalingrad. Um, so there are new basic trains, yes. Did I play zombies? Yes, sir. Uh, are there new game modes coming out in DLC 3? I did not see any, but that's not to say that once we get an another event, we don't get one. But I don't know. No news on zombies yet? Did you get to... Yeah, so zombie stuff, I'm assuming... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's... I can I can tell you it's embargoed until Monday. Um, and if not, my mistake. <laughs> but that's something that we'll see gameplay coming out on Monday. We usually... That's usually how the marketing always works for it. We get... You usually get to see those sort of things happen. Um... Like, Zombies usually comes out the day before the DLC happens. And I think that since we haven't seen a trailer for it yet, like, I was expecting on Thursday we'd get one. Since we haven't seen that, I'd imagine that that's when we end up seeing it also. Uh, the trailer for DLC, th uh, DLC for Zombies is on Monday, but I don't know. Uh, what's your thoughts on Hardcore? Uh, I mean, I don't mind it. World War II and Hardcore for me just don't mesh as well. Um, so I don't play it as much in World War II, but I mean, it's a great way to play for uh, anybody that's in in intrigued with it. Uh, I was a bit disappointed they never got a DD event. Yeah, I I mean I understand where people have the the disappointment of that, but I thought what we got was pretty fun, no no less. But I actually did not get to see a trailer for zombies, so that's one hundred percent honest. I did not get to see anything for for zombies outside of the gameplay. So like the trailer, I have no idea what they're gonna what they're gonna showcase. Um, definitely intrigued though. I mean, cause like again, we haven't seen anything just yet. So that's always strange. But oh. Sorry, I tabbed out of something. Ah! Stop it! I tabbed out of something, and, like, anytime I switch tabs on my right monitor, my left always is like, let's go back to the desktop! I don't know why, man. Um, maps looks cool. Yeah, dude, I think it's awesome. I think they're a ton of fun. Uh, I'd love to see Demolition come back. What's up, XO Place? How you doing, man? Saw TKO kill feed. Yeah, dude, TKO is a beast. He's a beast. Uh, need an event Tuesday, because it's just... I don't know if it, we'll get a, um, I don't know if we'll get a new event. That, that seems like, to me, unlikely to jump right into another one. But, I mean, it's definitely possible. Uh, I mean, we, we have seen events with DLC before, Resistance being that. But that actually started before. That started the week before the Resistance of, like, DLC came out. What's up, Samuel? Uh, any info about Master Prestige Rewards? No. So, like I was saying earlier, um, I have been kind of, like, playing around, like, I don't know anything. Um... But genuinely, for Master Prestige stuff, I actually have no idea. Um, I loved it. And again, if you saw last night's video, it was a late video, so some of you guys may not have caught it. Um, yesterday's video, we talked about that because in the blog post, Sledgehammer detailed Master Prestige stuff. And that's what I'm kind of like, what? what, Like, why bring it up if it's not ready yet? So maybe Tuesday we get something in terms of that. I don't know, though. Um... I'm definitely intrigued, and the nice part about it is I can actually tell you right away because I am Master Prestige now, finally. So if you guys are, say, right on that cusp of something, you're kind of waiting to, to do it. Um, Tuesday, if it happens, I'll be one of the first ones telling you about it, hopefully. Uh, are there new basic trainings? Yeah, so there's one that you're watching right now. I have Specialist Bonus, which is once you get 800 score, you get every basic training in the game. And plus, before that, up to 600 every 2, 4, and then 6, you get a basic training of your choosing. Um, so that's something that's brand new also, and that's a lot of fun. We get one called Escalation, which is actually the first basic training that I, in this gameplay, I end up earning. Um, and that's something where you, every kill you snap faster, like aiming down sight. And then also if you get double kills, it re uh, refills your magazine automatically. So you don't have to reload at all. Um, love your content. Hey, thank you, Ivan. I appreciate that, dude. Um, new weapons in terms of like a massive bulk of them. Um, that's something that I would see maybe coming in like a week or two. Because I'm assuming there's going to be a new event to accompany this after the DLC launches and kind of like wraps into Xbox One and PC's DLC. But I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, so the third basic training also with Escalation and Specialist is one called Wonderlust. And I don't think that I have any actual usable gameplay of it. Um, in the sense that like, I just didn't do well with it. Um, I might ought to dig through my gameplay. But the one thing that it does is that instead of like swapping your weapon whenever you hit Triangle... Um, or why on Xbox what we end up doing is you actually switch weapons entirely So it's gun game inside a basic training. It's a very cool premise But it's a it's more so I think to be suited for the fun factor because I know for a fact that I'm probably never gonna actually Pull off a sick gameplay with that basic training, but I mean it's possible. So who knows? Um, oh dude, I'd love to see a gas mask or something like that cuz dude I I still think to this day 
still think to this day that um, the Nambu gas is way too powerful, dude. Like, if you if you throw that, you not only get stunned, but you take damage. So it's like a, it's like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Double whammy. That's it. Um, but dudes, thank you all so much for being here. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Once again, we still almost got 400 people up in the chat. Hopefully you guys are on a fantastic Saturday. Uh, hopefully you guys are excited for DLC 3. And if you guys are, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. We got content coming today, tomorrow, Monday, and then into the DLC as well. So if you guys are new and want to stay up to date with all that, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. But, uh, new division, uh, again, I don't know anything about that. Um... All I'm going to say is I might have miraculously some information tomorrow about what they meant by calling the cavalry, but... Um... Spam fun in the chat. Wait, what? <laughs> Crossbow would be cool. Crossbow would be really cool. I'd love to see that. Well, yeah, you have, you have tack mask, yes, of course. But I mean, like, something that's a little bit more powerful. Um... Does a new event start on Tuesday? Not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. Uh, what do you say about all the noobs still running Modern Warfare? Yeah, it's a bummer, but like that's uh, when you when you get into the, like the the actual firmware of each of those games and like what they run on with with Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. Um, just because the firmware is so much easier to exploit compared to like what it was back in uh, or what it is now within like Xbox One and PS4. Uh, I actually have not been on COD World War II just yet today, so I unfortunately don't know the answer to that, CR. First live stream. What's up, Awesome? How you doing, man? Oh, yeah, that's true, Jeremiah. That's true. I believe it's Monday night. Monday night into Tuesday. I think it's gonna be, um, I think it's gonna be midnight. You my favorite. Hey, thank you, Psychopath. I appreciate that, dude. I'm curious to see though what we end up like when we when we end up seeing the uh because apparently some people were keen-eyed in the the reveal trailer for dlc3 that we saw what is it the delisle i didn't have any information on that one if we went out to sledge uh, so I, I have no idea when it's coming but i would love to see that come out soon because i'm all for new new dlc weapons but sniper bayonet is for a sniper with wait what um what's up iron rods how you doing man no, unfortunately, there's not suppressors on rifles. Um, I'm seeing a lot of the same thing. All I'm going to say uh, in terms of that is maybe stick around for the channel tomorrow. Because right now, I, I cannot talk about anything uh, in that that capacity. But uh, You should be able to... Th Dude, I'd love to see a throwable axe. Like, I would love to see that, like... That'd be so cool, especially now that we have like a, a literally like a fire axe, dude. That'd be so cool, so, dude. That'd be great for infected though, and that'd be a really like that'd be really situational if you can do that. Um, like imagine that where they tweak, imagine they tweak it to the sense where you end up having like your axe throwable, but you don't have a throwing knife, so like it's a risk, high risk, high reward type of thing. We can throw your axe, and then if you miss it, it's a two hit. Melee? I don't know. That'd be kind of weird to see that, but be, I don't know. Uh, Chatterbox 2. Ooh, nice. Thanks for the info, Arlo. Appreciate that, dude. Um, any new updates to the guns? I didn't have any, like, patch notes available to me whenever we were playing, so I don't know if there was any more tweaking and adjustments made. But, I mean, it's possible. Uh, here's the hoping new DLC weapons are, won't cost armory credits. I, yeah, that's the thing that I always save up my uh, supply drops for that particular reason, because, like, I love having a huge wealth of armory credits just in case but i also don't want to spend like thirty six thousand for an armory or for like one weapon also so unfortunately it's kind of like the again balancing act you have to play but dude i would love to see some japanese dlc like pacific front i think that'd be awesome i think that'd be awesome i would dude that would like that would make my day if we end up seeing some sort of uh some sort of pacific Theater. That'd be ah, uh, dude. Any time that I change tabs, it's ah, uh, so unfortunate. Muhammad, what's up, man? How you doing, man? What's up, Kras? How you doing, dude? Um, 
Yeah, it does give a little de uh, derail vibe too. It's just not as big. It's probably like, if you were to take derail and put it in half, that's probably what it is. Um, what do you think of specialist, dude? It is so much fun. I had like I barely ran anything other than specialist the entire time because it just it was too much fun, dude. It was too much fun. Ooh, just knocked over something on my desk. It is great. How specialist, dude, is great. It's a lot of fun again. Uh, it, it's relatively simple to get your specialist streak, but also at the same time, it's kind of like a, again, high risk, high reward type of deal. Um, yeah, so I do contracts and orders to get supply drops, Ivan. Um, and that's like, I literally like after say the first time that we open up supply drops at an event or after an event, rather, I should say to get new weapons. If I get them, I don't open any more of the entire event. Cause I don't really care at that point in time. Um, Samurai Sword would be awesome. Uh, what's up Cricket? How you doing, man? Uh, this looks like the map from Black... Yeah, so that's what... You People were saying it looks like a Ray and then Derail also. I think it's kind of like, like a nice little combination of that. Um, what's up, Michael? Good to see you as well. I uh, hope Stalingrad would look like Rod Cre That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. That, if you put the dragons in, though, I think people that would talk about historical accuracy would lose their minds, though. Bring it for Uh, Mr. Games, all I'm going to say is... You might want to be here tomorrow. You might want to be on the channel tomorrow. What's up, uh, Johannes? How you doing, dude? What's your th quick thoughts on the new war mode? Dude, war was actually a lot of fun. And I think that, again, I can't talk much about it because it's embargoed right now until tomorrow. But I will say that it's probably my favorite, uh, favorite war map that we've seen so far. No, new DLC is out on Tuesday. I went out to Sledgehammer and captured footage early, though. Um, all right, Johannes, take it easy, brother. Thank you for coming out to Sports Stream. What's up, uh... SR, I'm going to say SRC if that's cool. Um, yeah. New DLC and update coming to PC is going to be on Tuesday as well. Um, thank you. Uh, Ataku, I can't say much right now. Um, again, I plead the fifth. <laughs> so, let me see. I'm catching up on chat. I, I like lost my place and then I'm like, wait, what did I already see and what did I not see? About to hit Master Prestige. Hey, good stuff, man. I'm hoping that it's just in time, too, for more Master Prestige rewards. And, dude, one thing that I so badly hope for is that we end up seeing at least a continuation of every five levels you get a supply drop. Because, like, that... Again, I used to save up my supply drop so I get everything, but since I hit Master Prestige, I have gotten so many less supply drops just by playing the game. Um, what I think about Wonderlust, I didn't get much usable gameplay with it. Like, I didn't get all that much good gameplay. But uh, it's, a, it's a fun mechanic. It's definitely not something that I would say is very practical, but it's fun. So if you want to change up how you play, you want to just like kind of have a gun game within a game, definitely worth using at least in that, in that sense. Uh, when's war? War gameplay is tomorrow. Uh, I, dude, I was, I was kind of hoping we'd play some Search and Destroy on the new maps. We did not. Any of the gameplay that you'll see throughout the weekend, we actually don't have any. Uh, nobody, see, nobody really wanted to play Search, which is unfortunate, but I mean... Finally got Chrome. Good stuff, man. Yeah, Wonderlust is cool, though, in that sense where if you can get away from, like, sacrificing something that might actually help your gameplay to kind of just, like, playing a whimsical type of thing. Like, to me, that was my direct comparison was that, like, if you guys remember the whimsical gobblegum from Black Ops 3, it didn't offer any practicality in the sense of, like, helping you, say, like, if you were to put it in place of, like, a Perkaholic or a, a Phoenix Up. It didn't help you in that sense, but it was fun to use. So, it was... It's, I think... A nice way that Sledgehammer is implementing more fun ways to play the game rather than just having to hardcore grind out everything. Um, I'm great, uh, Kakarot. How you doing, man? Um, yeah, dude, it's, this, is a, this is a fun map, though. I wish I had better gameplay other than just this one for you guys, but unfortunately, I do not. But, yeah, War is going to be tomorrow. That is going to be... Uh, I'm, I'm excited to share that one. It was a lot of fun to play with. Uh, they need to make weather effects on maps. That'd be cool. I, and I like the dynamic snow here at this, but, like, the one thing that I, I thought that I'd like and I didn't like was when Ghost did have the dynamic events with maps where he could, like, literally alter the map. Probably my least favorite was that of, um, Freefall, when the entire map would shake and, like, be like, what's happening? Uh, unfortunately, that was something that I wasn't too big a fan of, and I, I thought up until whenever they did it, it'd be great, but... The most I'd like is probably, again, like the snow, the rain, that kind of stuff. That'd be good. Um, 
Do I play gun game? Uh, not all that much, because the one population on, on PS4 isn't the greatest. Um, and we didn't play much gun game, like, we didn't play any gun game or party modes at this event, but... Any new variants in uniforms? I did not see any, no. Gotta run. Alright, Toxic, you take it easy, brother. Yo, I Iwo Jima would make an awesome war map. I don't know what Sledge is planning for DLC 4, but I would love to see some Pacific Front stuff. Night modes would be cool. Um, and I, I like this map in particular, Market Garden, because it is night. The only problem, though, dude, I feel like... I feel like my monitor actually was a little too dark compared to the others. Because, like, I looked at my input on my Elgato on my laptop next to me, and it was so much brighter. But, like, I was like, I can't see anything! So I think it comes down to the TV settings as well, or the monitor settings with that. Um, but, might have been a glare, I don't know. But that's the only that's the only thing that night maps pose a problem to is sometimes they're very dark. But what does escalation do? So every kill, uh, you snap faster shortly thereafter. So like if you aim down sight and then get a kill, but then aim out and then you see somebody once again quickly there snaps really quick. So it's like quick draw on steroids. Um, but also double kills will then award you uh, a refill of your magazine right off the top. Like it doesn't require you to reload. It'll just like if you're at, Two, two shots in your mag, you'll end up having, say, 30 on the STG again. So it's pretty awesome in that sense. Because, like, my my personal luck... You see, I just earned it here, so you might see a little bit of gameplay. I don't remember. Uh, I do know I go on a specialist bonus here, so you'll be able to see some stuff with it. Um, okay, so I died there. But, yeah. Then, one thing that is great for is, again, situationally, I always feel like I come into contact with so many people. I'll get, like, three, four people I'll sneak behind, and then I'll take out, like, three of those four because I just run out of ammo. But, because it tops you off automatically, it's going to help out with that a lot. You might just be able to spray down, but... Those new streaks are the brand new specialist basic training. So, that's something in which you pick your first three basic trainings you get at 200, 400, and 600 score, and then at 800, you get every basic training in the game. Did I get close to dropping any nukes? No, but I think Swag did one... He did get one or two. Um, add flashlights as a perk. Oh, that'd be cool. Yo, imagine putting flashlights as an attachment on your... Um, like on your rifles or something. That'd be cool. But am I gonna do a meet and greet anytime soon? Uh, I think that'd be cool. I don't think that I'm at that level though. I don't think that I'm at the the level of actually scheduling an event like that. Um, it was cool though because I got to meet a lot of people at like E3. Um, and so that that was always fun. But that was like a that's like a mutual kind of gaming expo. Um, will Sledgehammer bring back some of the old events? Uh, wait, do you mean like? Like, say, Resistance and Winter Siege. I don't know. I, I can't imagine, but... Any advice on starting a gaming channel? It's very tough, but I will say that it's possible if you have a love and passion for it and you're dedicated to doing the work and you put in the time, effort, and consistency. That's the big thing is, like, it doesn't it doesn't happen overnight unless you're, like, a, a Fortnite clickbait channel. <laughs> but um, it, it doesn't happen overnight all the time, so, like, it is going to take some time. So just bear that in mind that it, success isn't going to be, like, like, the snap of a finger. Like a Fano snap. Um, specialist is back. Yes. Yes, sir. The double kill ammo replenish sun. It, dude, it's great. It's fantastic. Um, though, honestly, a lot of times, it's something that you don't see as much as you might expect. Like, I didn't run into all that many double kills just entirely overall. So, uh, open lobby right now. We, we, we're not playing. Like, this is pre-recorded. It's not available to anybody else. Um, are the basic trainings available at the launch of DLC 3? Yes. Yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be live, and I believe it's live across the board for PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation Four. Despite those first two not getting the DLC f until another thirty days later, because uh, that's gonna be the update. It's gonna be a part of the update that brings Attack of the Undead offline. So those things I'm fairly certain are going to be available for everybody on Tuesday. But is the work cut seem good? Um, totally honest. Um, I don't think that I saw the winning side, like allied winning side. I think that. We all kept getting stuck on that last... Because I'll tell you right now, uh, without giving away too much, the final two objectives, if you're the attacking side on war, are so tough to break. It is... It's... I don't know if it was just because, like, we're all, like... I'd like to say we're, we're skilled players. So I don't know if it's that sense where, like, because everybody's so good, it's not as easy. But... I don't think anybody got, again, an ax or an allied victory uh, cutscene. So I don't know about the second one, but the the, the, the Axis one's kind of cool. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I think it'd be cool to see that kind of stuff, Jacob, but I don't, I don't know if they will. Specialist works exactly the same way you'd imagine, but instead of like just being solely based on kills, it's gonna be something that is based also on score. So assist, uh, UAV, counter UAV, um, capture points, that kind of stuff. It's all gonna go in on top of kills as well. So you can end up getting, uh, you can firstly pick three basic trainings, one at 200, 400, and 600 that you end up earning, and then when you hit 800 score, that's when you get every basic training in the game, and you're essentially a super soldier. Uh, will it be easier to drop B2s with Specialist? Um, possibly. I know Swag would have once or twice uh, out of our capture session, but how big will the update be? My guess is a couple of gigs, um, because it has to take everything from Attack the Undead offline, then it's going to add some new stuff in uh, overall, and then PlayStation 4 is probably going to be bigger because it's going to have the DLC also. Um, is there a named event for this DLC? Not to my knowledge at the moment, no. I mean, there's going to be one, but I don't have any, I don't have any information on that. I wanted a zombie hunter division. Dude, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. That's one thing that I loved about, uh, Attack the Undead. I loved that we ended up getting, um, I love that we ended up getting those zombies uniforms. Those were so cool. Uh, War Tomorrow is just how the embargo works out. Uh, it, they they strate uh, strategically split things up um, in the sense that like not everything is released all at once to the public. So like we'll, we'll have Stalingrad and Market Garden today, um, Monte Casino tomorrow, as well as War and maybe another secret or two. Uh, again, I don't know. Uh, so all I'm saying is maybe you want to stick around the channel tomorrow. And if you're new, you might want to subscribe. <laughs> uh, and then Monday, I believe, is Zombies as well. Uh, and then Tuesday, go it goes right into the Tuesday launch then. What's up, Stern, man? How you doing, man? What's up, dude? Uh, you can use streaks with specialist, or is it a trade-off? Yeah, so it's it's a trade-off. So you don't get your, like, you don't get, like, your UAV counter, uh, ball turret gunner, paratroopers, that kind of stuff, if you have specialist. It's it's kind of like how the strike packages work, but you don't get, of course, you don't have that third option of the uh, support streak. Um, but it does take away the actual lethal streaks you have. What time am I streaming tomorrow? Probably again, same time, about 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, and I believe 6 p.m. GMT, is it, in the UK? Um, that's when the embargo goes, goes like, that's when it's lifted so I can do whatever. Um. Hey, no problem, Jacob. Um, Chris, uh, that I don't have any uh, information on. How difficult is war? Like I said, um, the last two, again, without giving too much away because it's it's... Like, gameplay and stuff is embargoed until tomorrow. Uh, I will say, though, that the last two objectives um, for war, they're like two and one, kind of. Like, there's multiple objectives in the last stage. Um, there's the last two, so, so hard to break. So, I don't know, again, if it was just because, like, everybody there was, I think, like, I would, again, consider us good players. Um, I don't know if it's just because everybody was good and, like, we were just kind of matching each other, like, evenly i'm sure it's going to be a lot easier once you get into public matches where there's people that are skilled and like the skill gap is is a wide range um but it was very tough to play around with at that point but do i get early access to the torture path i did get to play uh that's gonna be something that comes on monday um ninja division would be awesome dude that'd be so cool can you use ordinance with specialist yeah i believe so yeah if it's it's actually weird because there there are not every basic training I don't think is available to choose for specialist. I think it's like I want to say like fifteen or sixteen um, of them, uh, and I don't remember exactly off the top of my head which ones are available to use with specialist. Um, but I think that was one of them though. Uh. Actually, wait, 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 no, ordinance wouldn't be, because ordinance is what, your, that, that brings your, uh, score streak meter, like, to, to less for your streaks, so, the way that would work is that you'd have to, like, stack them both, you'd have to have both of them, um, so I don't know if it works out where you can put it in one of the slots for specialist, now that I think about it, I don't know, that's a good question, I'll have to get back to you on that one, um, do you think we should get the standard variants of the DLC gun straight away? I think Season Pass, absolutely, because it would add va like add value to the Season Pass, and I know Infinite Warfare did that as well. Um, who all was at the event? Um, let me see real quick. Actually, let me go back. Let me pause this real quick, uh, and you'll be able to see some of the names. Hang on, I just gotta, I gotta end the round.
So, yeah. All right. So, I think it was TKO Swag, Apollo. Um, where's Hennis? He's probably going 1 and 8. Pro Hennis was there. Ink Slasher. Uh, I don't know these three. We had, There were a lot of people that we didn't, like, I didn't know off of them. Uh, MP12, I wasn't sure who that was. I think uh, MP23, I think that was um, Jay Rizzo. But I'm not entirely sure off the top. Again, it gets it gets hard when people, like, just put something funny as their clan sag or something like that. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, Ordnance and Blitzkrieg would be absolutely useless. Yeah, you're right. Any remarks? Dude, it was a lot of fun. I think you guys will enjoy this DLC. 100%. Uh, Joe, you'll find out on Monday. Am I excited for Black Ops 4? Uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. Did I play by CWO rules or by re just regular rules? Um, I mean, some of us play competitive, like, just for fun. But also, like, the majority of us are just, like, I don't want to say casuals. But, like, we don't dabble into the competitive side as much. Um, really hyped for Stalingrad. How's the map feel? Dude, it feels fun if you're doing well. But the one thing that I will say, and I said it earlier in the stream, is that, like, a lot of the time, and you'll probably see it now, I think, in this this second half of the gameplay is that it's incredibly easy to spawn trap uh on this side of the map might even be on the other side i don't remember all that much but i do know that i was like switching back and forth between spawns and i just at one point i couldn't get out of spawn i i died like 10 times in a row to streaks or to like just people patrolling spawn and i literally put down my controller and i was like you know what i'm just gonna check twitter and cool off a little bit because i'm i'm a little frustrated <laughs> so that's something that I, i'm i'm Hoping they adjust some of the spawn logic within this map in particular, but I don't know if that'll happen. Um, think War should have... Wait, have a ton of... Dude, one thing that I would love to see, and I don't know if it'll happen, but one thing that I'd love to see is if they break apart, like, the War maps and release them as kind of, like, mini mini maps. And even, like, throw them in as, like, I don't know. You, you, can, you can do that, just literally break off pieces of each War map, um, and then kind of... Um, I don't know, like, maybe how we had, like, Shipment 1944, like, uh, Grossman House. Release those, like, every other week or so. One one map like that, like, a, a broken up chunk of a map for free. I think that'd be really cool in, in MP. It would give a lot more uh, variation. You can even do it, like, as a, as a separate playlist, even, so it doesn't dilute the pool of the maps that you already have on hand. I think that'd be awesome, but I don't know if we'll see that happen or not. Uh, do you think World War II is a good game? Yeah, dude. I've, I've said this so many times, and, like, I know some people give it a lot of flack, but I genuinely enjoy World War II. I genuinely, genuinely enjoy this game. Uh, any thoughts on Battlefield 5? I haven't really paid much attention to it, so... Oh, wait a second. I never made my video saying that we're live. Go live. Whoops. Whoopsies. Let me do that real quick. That, that just hit me that we, we did that, so we're gonna... Low altitude bomber inbound. Oh, wait! No! I don't think I put the link in that either. Hang on. I need to, hang on, one, just one second, stream. I need to adjust this. I'm an idiot. I am... dumb. Let me see that real quick. Bust this out. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now we should be good. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Awesome possum. Right on. Let me get back to chat here just one second. Oh, and of course, anytime I change... Again, anytime I change tabs on my right monitor, it kicks me out of the left. Always. I don't know why, but it does. Um... When you play Torch of Path on Monday, are you limited on what? Um, so yeah, like, a lot of the embargo stuff, like, we can't show Easter eggs and stuff like that. Um, so it's just, like, kind of raw gameplay. That's the only real, like, stipulation to it, though. What's my least favorite map? Um, gameplay experiences-wise, it might be Stalingrad, just because I got slapped so many times. But, like, you're, you're watching my best gameplay from this. And when you look at the score, it's, like, nothing... It's not anything, like, super amazing. Uh, I only, I only did well because, like, I got a nice little streak based off of caps and all that kind of stuff, so. Um, uh, AK, all I'm gonna say is tomorrow will be very, um, tomorrow will be very informative for a lot of people asking that question. Um, 
It's pause. Yeah, uh, undead. I'll have to check to see what. Um, I'll have to check to see what exactly we end up getting. Um, because I had the list of things that I I'm gonna rattle it off in tonight's video, like to give you a full breakdown of everything with the basic trainings. But I can't remember off the top of my head, um, which basic trainings were available with specialists. And the one thing that I will say is that I can't show menu footage, so I can't go back and check on stream right now for you guys. Uh, what division am I using? This is I think airborne. What's up, Price? How you doing, brother? Uh, would you say these maps play well? Yeah, I think so. I think so, absolutely. Um, yeah, so what I'm using, though, is Specialist. It's not a, like, it's not a new division that I'm using. Specialist is the, it's a new basic training. Um, but it's, dude, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. I, I'm so happy they added it, and, like, dude, I was talking to some of the developers, and, like, they, they always love to get our feedback on, like, what, what we like the most out of the, the new updates and all that. And so, literally, I was, I was praising Specialist, because, like, that's one of my favorite things from the Call of Duty franchise ever. Not just like one game, but like that's one thing that is one of my favorite things ever. So I was super happy they added it back in, and I think they did it very well. Um, uh, Fabio and Derpster, I will have more. I'll be able to talk, tell you guys about some stuff maybe tomorrow. But I, I right now my mind is blank. I don't know anything. Um, I think they need to add more Soviet maps. I think it'd be cool to push east. I think it'd be really cool in DLC. Uh, DLC 4 to go eastward. I'd love still to see the Pacific Front for DLC 4, but I have no idea. Escalation is a basic training, yes. Ugh. Dude, my throat is killing me. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you guys travel at all. But, like, I'm usually perfectly cool, but as soon as I got home yesterday, I was like, dude, my throat is killing me. Like, I feel like I'm getting sick just out of, like, snap of a finger. Felt great one minute, the next I'm like, oh, I'm dying. How do I get this gameplay? Right now, hands are off the controller. I am not playing. Uh, I went out to Sledgehammer Games earlier in the week to actually capture footage of this. I was one of, like, 16 people that went out and captured gameplay for it, but... Um, possibly, Ryan. Possibly. Dude, I want the Iron Curtain 2 so bad, Aaron. I'm right there with you, man. I'm right there with you. Oh, glad... I'm glad this could help, uh, POW. Glad it could help. Really, really, really glad. That's like that's the biggest thing that I, I I hope that this can can do whenever like I do these live showcases and break things down. Is I'm really hopeful that it can help people decide do they want to get the gameplay or the the map packs themselves? Because I think for me being that kind of kind of in, intermediary, it's a very unique perspective that I can offer to it, where I can give you raw feedback, raw information on it, and of course show you the raw gameplay. Um, and I, I I that's that's something I don't take for granted. So I'm, I'm glad they could help you out. Um, is there new streaks? Not new streaks, but this is a brand new basic training. What you're seeing is, uh, is the specialist basic training. In which you get to choose a basic training you can earn at... Not one. Um, two, four, and six hundred score streaks. Uh, and then at eight hundred score streaks, you get every basic training in the game. It's pretty awesome. How do you choose the perks you want for one to three and specialist? You get to so it's kind of like, it's like, it's like basic training inception. I'll say that. Um, so what you do is that like you pick specialist and then it in the menu brings down a tab of three different basic trainings You can choose underneath it. So it's kind of like uh, It's almost like as if they they move the like equipment that you can choose over to the left Underneath the basic training and you choose three basic trainings there um, Yeah, so new uh, new basic trainings uh, try hard is specialist which you're seeing right now um, Escalation is one that uh, is very cool um, in a short period of time after kills your your weapon will snap down to, like to aim down sight faster Then you also have uh, wonderlust which isn't really a practical basic training I don't think but it's a lot of fun um, In which instead of where you'd swap weapons like to go from primary to secondary you hit triangle or Y If you hit triangle or Y it actually gives you a brand new weapon entirely So it's like gun game, but in a basic training pretty fun um, again That's one that I think is more so just like to the way that I compared it immediately was that of like say in Black Ops 3, you had the gobble gums, you had the whimsical gobble gums. So, like, I wouldn't necessarily put it as something as useful as, like, say, a Perkaholic or, like, a Phoenix Up. 
but I would say that it's fun in the sense of like if you were to directly compare it to that gobble gum system, it's kind of like where the zombies would throw up if they're shot or something like that. Um, my favorite map of the DLC vibe is probably um, Monte Casino, which is dropping tomorrow here on the channel. Um, that's one of the maps that's embargoed until tomorrow. Today we have Market Garden and Stalingrad, but out of these two that you're watching, probably Market Garden is my favorite. But uh, Ryan, the Stena is actually pretty solid. I think that it's it's a, a great weapon. I don't use it all that much, but I totally should. Um, let's see. What division in basic training is this gameplay showcasing? Uh, the division is infantry, and then uh, specialist is the basic training. Just got an 18 kill streak. Hey, good stuff, man. Dude, I don't think... I don't know if you guys were here for that stream that we did. I don't think anything's ever gonna beat that 48 gun streak that we got uh, in Infected. With the... Uh, it, it was totally... It was totally cheap, though. Because, dude, that, that Tesla gun is ridiculously powerful. And I got, like, every... I got every kill in that lobby, I swear, because remember that. I went from 48 most kills to the next most, 5. So, is it out now? No, unfortunately it comes out on Tuesday. I was out at Sledgehammer Games, though, earlier in the week capturing footage. Uh, so huge thank you to Sledgehammer and Activision for the hospitality, bringing me out there. It was a ton of fun. And as always, like, huge thank you to you guys, because without you, your support, day in and day out on the videos and streams, literally none of this would be possible. So, I'm humbled to be in that opportunity, like, to be in that position where I can be that interme intermediary to bring you guys this game plan. I, again, I can't thank you guys enough for the the, the opportunities to, to be able to do this. So thank you guys first to su for supporting the channel, supporting the dream. Um, it's it's It means everything. So thank you guys so much. How do I like DLC 3 so far? I love it. So much fun. Um, for Specialist Perk, is it possible to get Wonderlust at 800? I don't think so. No, I think that's one of the ones that, again, somebody pointed out and it, 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 like, it escapes my mind and I can't check because I can't show menu footage. Um, but there's, there's like 15 or 16 basic trainings you can pick from. And I think that, again, it kind of does like disallow, um, like this, like the zany ones like that. And of course, then also the ones that are like the, the division basic trainings also. Um, favorite map again, probably Mo Monte Casino out of that one. Eh, kind of, kind of like a day operation husky, but it's 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 very fun in the sense that there's one power position you'll see me like really gravitate towards on the gameplay tomorrow. Um, but it also is something in which it's a ton of fun in the sense that like the lanes are so zigzaggy. Like it's not just a, a straight three lane map. There are three lanes to it, but they like weave in and out of each other. And it's awesome. Um, I was there the last year. Hey, good stuff. Thank you, Joel. Appreciate that, brother. Yeah, gameplay, I was out at Sledgehammer, uh, capturing the footage. That was something we did earlier in the week, and I'm back home now, so. Um, hey, my pleasure, Michael. Again, thank you guys for the support. Uh, how does Hardpoint play out on both these maps? Hardpoint on this map is very tough, um, in the sense, maybe just because, like, again, the people we were playing was actually good. Um, so it's, it's not one of the things where you'll see the variable skill level, like, somebody's to uh, horrible and somebody's great in, like, regular multiplayer matches. Uh, everybody was pretty much not like bad and not great, but like good. So like it was a very small skill gap, so it made it tough, but um uh Jaleel, no. No, there this is just the basic training you're watching. Uh can you give a sh shout out to you, Try Harder? Appreciate appreciate you guys being here. Monte Casino looks dude, Monte Casino is a ton of fun. Uh Exo Survival for World War II era, that'd be insane. I think people would actually lose their mind. Uh, zombies is Monday, Nathan. I think they even can make... Ja Dude, I would love to see again, like, Far East and then Pacific Theater for DLC 4. I would love to see that. Love to. <laughs> Mark, that'd be a really interesting map. That'd be really cool, though, how that would work out. I'd, I'd be down for that. I'd be down for that. Ugh. Let me catch up on chat once again. I kind of lost my spot here, unfortunately. OP Activist. Hey, anytime, brother. Thank you for coming out and watching the streams. My pleasure for the broadcasts. Can you flush the toilets in Monte Casino? Um, no, that was actually in Market Garden, and no, I don't believe so. But there was a point in one of the gameplays where I actually did get somebody. I, like, I lost them. I went into the bathrooms to, like, get away from them. They chased me, and I posted up to kind of regen health and just kind of, like, try and outplay them. But they didn't expect me to be in there, and then I was like, 
Yes, got him. So it's cool. Um, but that's that's a really interesting spot, and I know some people got outplayed or somebody was camping in there at one point. Also, I don't remember who it was, but uh, the Delial I did not see Captain Price in the gameplay we played, but I know that people spotted it in the the actual trailer for DLC three. So my guess is that we'll see the Delial in the next event, but I have absolutely no information on it. Hundred percent honest. Um. Berlin war or Berlin war map would be cool. That'd be cool. Uh, dude, still one of my favorite maps in terms of like, like just cool, interesting aesthetic to it was Berlin Wall from Black Ops One. I have no idea what you're trying to say there, Oz. <laughs> Any unique weapon ideas? Um, I'm curious to see how they do the Delisle because again, some people pointed out that it does have the built-in suppressor. Um, so I don't know how they're going to work that one out, but in terms of other unique ideas, I have no clue. Not the slightest. Not in the slightest, but I'm, I'm hopeful that they do some really, really cool stuff. I think that there's, I think that World War II is doing fantastic with how they've, like, in this, since the division overhaul, I think that the game has been fantastic. Let me try, I'm just trying to adjust. I keep, like, going in and out of frame, like, I'll be, like, up here one time, and I'll be, like, down here one time. I... I'm like, I move around too much because like I get kind of antsy and it's really hot in my room. So like I'm trying to like, I have a leather chair. So I'm trying to pull myself off it. <laughs> Jacob Williams, fun at $5, man. I appreciate that, dude. I'm back to support the stream. Keep up the amazing work. You're my fan. Hey, appreciate you so much, Jacob. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat or donation. Greatly, greatly appreciate them, my man. Greatly, greatly do. You, 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 the, you the real MVP. Thank you, brother. Uh, what's your thoughts on Fallout 76? Dude, I am looking forward to it. I was I was really excited to sell, see what we saw out of E3. And dude, I'm, I'm hyped for it. I think it'll be cool. Um, uh, Crayola, all I'll say right now for the time being um, is check the blog post from Sledgehammer. And we kind of recap the blog post in yesterday's video. And um, again, right now my mind miraculously, poof, I have no information. Um... Yo, that's awesome, Try Harder. That's awesome. I, uh, I unfortunately, like, I'm not a leaderboard guy. Um, so I, I don't think that I've ever been in top 100 for, for any of the games. But, dude, the people like you that grind it out, 100%, like, much love to that. Like, I, that's, that's, that's awesome. That's super cool. We want suppressors for ARs? I think that'd be awesome, but I don't know if it'll happen. Um... Nice t-shirt I got airborne. Yeah, dude, I love this is still like one of my favorite t-shirts. I like for for Call of Duty merch. I got this at E3 last year. Dude, it's it's so great. Sledge um Sledge actually gave me I might be able to hit real quick. I am probably gonna have to turn off the green screen but to show you. Um bomber inbound. Dropping incendiary. I was at Sledge for the stream. Let me see if it shows up. Oh yeah, you can see it. Cool. It's not green enough. Uh, Sledge gave me this. It was like one of the last like dev t-shirts um, They had when I was for the attack of the undead. So it has like the sledge logo on it. I love this thing. It's so comfy But oh, That's one of the, the common ones you'll see but hey Jacob coming with another two dollar super chat man. I appreciate you dude. I appreciate you I say un undead I uh again I d I'm gonna hope I don't slip up today um, in terms of slipping and giving some information but uh, again just come back to the channel tomorrow I promise you 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time 6 p.m. GMT tomorrow I might I might remember a thing or two I don't know I took too many concussions when I was I was playing hockey throughout my 15 year career I, I just I can't remember <laughs> what's the best gun in the game right now um, I don't know, dude. I still think that, like, I still think the, the, the meta weapons, like PPSH, like the, the BAR, those are still incredibly uh, powerful in the sense of, like, they're just versatile. Like, that's why they're so good. Um, so, let's see basic trainings got earned through kills in this. Yeah, so the one thing that, again, I will, I'll, I'll point out is Specialist is something that is a new one that takes, instead of kill streaks, you can earn basic trainings and then go all the way up to Specialist bonus. But, um,. Pearl Harbor map would be really cool. I'd love to see some Pacific stuff once again. Um, I don't know why the 
Unless I missed the the uh, notification for that dono, Jacob. I appreciate the two dollars. And Nick, I appreciate that five dollar super chat, man. Uh, will the new maps allow the run and gun type of playstyle, or is it a slow pace? Um, so I think I think these ones are more so faster. Um, I'm trying to think. There's one power position tomorrow in Monte Casino, which is gonna be insane if you can hold it. Um, like I I I love that position, um, and it's in the trailer. Uh, but I can't, again, talk about it too much just yet. But, I mean, Market Garden's very small, close quarters. Uh, the, the biggest parts are, again, the spawns with the, the Dom Flags A and C. Um, right side on the, the lower, like, where the room breaks out and then goes into, like, the, the bay. That's, that's a little more open. Um, but everything else, you see Stalingrad only has that wide open, uh, middle. But everything else, again, it's very gonna be suited towards running gun, I think, but... Sten is fantastic also. I appreciate that, Undead. Thank you for the support, dude. Thank you for that. Um, Orso is great, yeah. Orso is also. Uh, love the shirt, but... Uh, <laughs> it's all good, Cog. All good, brother. No worries at all. We love everybody here. Uh, you want to play 1v1 sometime? Uh, I mean, possibly we could do that. I don't know. I don't know when it would work out timing-wise. I'm... Always so incredibly busy that it like it it hurts sometimes. Um, fear again. I, I, I might suggest to come back tomorrow, but right now I again I have nothing. Uh, War map is a lot of fun. War map is a lot of fun. I can't talk about it much. It's embargoed until tomorrow. Gameplay will showcase. We'll, we'll show a lot of stuff tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be a big big day. Uh, on the channel, so again, stick it here on the channel for you guys that are interested in that kind of stuff, but um, So Moses, I think it's just because of the exclusivity because DLC comes out 30 days earlier And so therefore it's like if you're a youtuber you want to have the most up-to-date stuff That's what like what will get the And again, I don't want to make it like sound come down to like your stereotypical like oh get the views But like that's what will get people to watch is, is the new content. So being limited 30 days afterwards that severely cuts into how much potential for growth the, the COD YouTubers will have. So that's why a lot of them play on PS4. Um, what's up, Alejandro? How you doing, man? <laughs> All good, Tryhard. All good. Um, I don't know, Gerald. I don't know, man. Love how you take the time to interact. Hey, I do my best, man. That's the thing that I love about uh, streams is, like, YouTube videos are, like, pre-made. They'll go up a lot of the times when I'm out for the day, and so therefore I'll like catch a comment or two. But I, I try to read every comment. I swear to you guys on that. Uh, but I love the thing with live streams is the fact that you can actually interact and like talk one on one. So, uh, yeah, Cog. So Monday we have zombie stuff coming. Uh, and again, prank on. I don't know just yet, man. All I'm gonna say is you're gonna wanna if you're new, you wanna subscribe to the channel because tomorrow's gonna be a big day for, for DLC three stuff. It's gonna be a big day. Uh, how are these basic trainings earned? No, this suits. So what I'm not pl I'm not playing with a new division right now. I'm playing with these specialists uh, basic training. So what it does is like it brings down a sub category where you can choose um, you can choose three basic trainings you can earn at 200, 400, and 600 score, uh, and then at 800 you get every basic training that's available in the game for specialists. So again, it limits some of it. I think there's like 16 basic trainings or something that uh, specialists allows you to do. But once you get 1800 or 800 score, then you have 16, you have 16 basic trainings. But, should snipers be allowed to camp? Um, I mean, if you're talking realism, absolutely. I don't, I, I get bored sitting in one spot whenever I play COD, so like, I try and run around, even if I do have a sniper, but, thoughts on the new maps? Love them, dude. So much fun. What are you excited for in Black Ops 4? Uh, a lot of it. I, it's, it's too much to pinpoint down right now, but, Oh. What's up, Denzel? How you doing, man? Yeah, dude, Bandit, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. But it's not something where it, like, gives you extra health or anything like that, so it doesn't... You still have to play smart when you do it. You can just get a little bit more added to your gameplay experience in that sense. Favorite new map? Probably Monte Casino, which we're showing off tomorrow, but of the two we're showing here today, probably this one. This is Mar Market Garden. Uh, you deserve one million... Hey, appreciate that, Josh. Thank you, brother. Uh, yeah, there's been some PlayStation and, like, network issues across the board, Dan, that I know of. Uh, hopefully they're fixed out, though. But. 
Yeah, that, I would expect those to be uh, excluded, Jordan. Good point out. What's happening tomorrow? Uh, I mean, we got a lot of gameplay to show off and a lot of cool things that, again, I... At the moment, man, I, I, I think I took too many concussions when I played hockey because I can't, I can't seem to, to remember. But <laughs> tomorrow, again, again, just stick here on the channel. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe because tomorrow we're going to blow some minds. We're going to blow some minds with some stuff. So you guys are going to want to be here. Uh, I feel like Pacific DLC won't fit because, yeah, that's the that's the big thing that, like, again, from the, the very beginning, the design intentions were the European theater. Um, so I don't, I don't know if they will, um, but I'd love to see it. What's up, Olofty? How you doing, man? Is the DLC out? No, unfortunately not. It is coming out on Tuesday, but I was out at Sledgehammer Games, uh, this past, I think we recorded on Wednesday and I got home yesterday. So, it was a quick turnaround. I don't know if you guys noticed that I was gone. Um, that's the one thing that I, I remember a couple of people tweeting me, like, whenever I, I've been on these trips and announced them, they're like, dude, I never even realized, like, you're so good at hiding that. And I'm like, I try my best. <laughs> Hey, Mitch, what's up, brother? What's up? What's up, Luke Fano? How you doing, man? Uh, dig the new background? Dude, I know. I, I love this one. I I changed it up from the... What was it before? The, like, the, the blue, like, striped line type thing. Uh, and then Black Ops 4, we did the Black Ops 4 one. But I like this one. I'd say... Let me see if I can show you guys real quick. It's like a... It's called a plexus effect in After Effects. But, like, it's just a, a loop of sort of galaxy thing. So it's cool. Um... Uh, good stuff. Hey, thank you, Pistol. I appreciate that, brother. Warm out tomorrow. Uh, so I'm gonna be debuting a lot of stuff tomorrow. Um, probably we're gonna do another stream at 1, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I believe 6 p.m. GMT. Uh, I think you guys are, I think in the UK you guys are five hours ahead of us. I think. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so right around that time is when I'm gonna be doing that. And of course I'll have videos throughout the night also explaining everything in depth. Um, like we're gonna have we're gonna have a video going live tonight explaining everything in depth for uh, What to expect with like the basic trainings and all that kind of stuff and so we'll have a lot of that stuff also tomorrow, but Yeah, so the new basic training and uh, the new basic training is gonna be something that is available to everybody on Tuesday also um, Which DLC weapons should I get the Nebu type 2 or blunderbuss Nebu type 2 is definitely more practical blunderbuss is a lot of fun to play around with but in the sense of like trying to actually get some some really good gameplay, I don't think it's as, as practical. Um, yeah, I I definitely think that, dude. Again, I think that since the division overall, World War Two has turned into a completely different game, and it's fantastic. Like I I loved the game at launch. I put up with the like, of course, the, the things that had the issues with the connectivity. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of some of the design uh, intense. At that point, but since literally since the like division overhaul, I I have loved it tenfold. Uh, zombies on the green screen be cool. Yeah, we can see if we can pull that up uh, for Monday whenever we debut stuff. Um, do I like the idea of the Black Ops Pass? I think I summed it up at least in my mind. I think that I summed it up well. Um, in terms of expecting content for free, I don't. It's the same exact thing in terms of the season pass we've seen previously, except we have black uh, blackout stuff instead of like war for world war 2 but the, the only the only thing that i don't like about that is that characters for blackout don't take as much time in development uh, as a war map does so you're kind of like paying the same or slightly less for a little less content but i do think that people pushing for free content is a way that will definitely be able to help um, definitely be able to help progress the way activision sees the market and keeping up with the industry and how they view the market so the market's going again like very very close to free to play in a lot of senses uh, and i think that the pay model is getting outdated so in that sense like i don't expect free content because people are working for it and i think that if people work for something they should be compensated but also in that sense that i also think that keeping up with industry standards is is absolutely huge so whenever we end up seeing that i think that's a nice way to do it um rather use the mp40 yeah mp40 and uh, pvsh i think are situational um well, teach their own, Mondo. Uh, would have loved the British campaign in World That'd be cool, yeah. Really cool. Yeah, Nambu, um... Nambu is one that, again, I, I, I kind of wish it wouldn't be locked up, but uh, it's unfortunate. Would one of the less include all DLC weapons in it? Yeah, I think it, I think it should, yeah. 
So Nambu is part of the uh, DL or the uh, Attack of the Undead update. So if you want just the um, if you want the one that you can unlock out of collections after Tuesday, because the event is ending, collections lock up, so therefore you won't be able to get that top tier reward if you don't already have it. Uh, type five is is tough to use, but with the right attachments, it turns out okay. Yeah, uh, Lawrence, I think that that's I think that's absolutely right. I think that if it was free, you could you could market a lot more uh, and get a lot more money off of other things too, but. I don't know. I'm not making the big bucks at Activision, so I have no clue. Uh, Omar, I plead the fifth. All I'm going to say is tomorrow we'll have a lot of information on the channel, but... What COD do I like? I like World War II a lot, if I'm honest with you. Um, favorite COD, though, to date, is still Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is, is by and far my favorite. I was able to complete the collection out of the bribe. Nice stuff, man. I think I have like four or five saved up that I'm, I'm hoping to finish off some of my stuff with that, but... Time of those DLC three come out in Ireland. Uh, oh, that's a tough one. I'm always, I'm always so confused. Even like 100%, I'm still even confused whenever they do this kind of stuff because, like, it's midnight Eastern, and I don't know if it's like midnight Pacific or like 9 p.m. Pacific. So like, therefore, it's kind of like rolls out Eastern time is like that midnight, but everything else is time zone specific. So maybe five, six a.m. I. Uh, I don't want to say that for certain because I, I I genuinely am, am unsure. But what's up, Anton? How you doing, man? Can I turn the volume up just a tad? Yes, sir. Yeah, I can, I can turn that up a little bit. <laughs> nobody 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 saw that uh, that snap to what we what did the what did the volume at? <laughs> Crash remastered is out. Yeah, that'll be good. I'm looking forward to to seeing that kind of stuff, but. Uh, Lord, Ake, I have no idea what DLC weapons. I genuinely don't. I'm gonna assume that we, because we didn't have anything in terms of uh, new weapons for, uh, like the, the build that we had. Um, but it is something that I would imagine we get new weapons in, because again, people spotted the Delial in um, the trailer, so I'm assuming that's gonna happen in the next event, which will probably be like two, three weeks after, maybe, maybe even one. Some people said maybe the Fourth of July one, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know though. I have, I have absolutely no information on, like, the next batch of DLC weapons. Uh, BO2 is you. It's, I know, it's, I know some people aren't too big a fan of it, but. No, Lord, I, I actually just genuinely missed your question. Apologize, bro. Um, if the event closes and you complete the collection, would you still be able to get the gun? No, unfortunately not. So if you want something that's specific out of those collections, even after the event, if you get the like, if you complete the collection, it won't give you that top tier of it, which is unfortunate. But that's yeah, it's, it's I don't know why they do it, but it's unfortunate. What's up, Mark? Welcome back, dude. I still think this is hilarious. Because my, my G Fuel is like an aqua color, it, it, it literally is green screened. <laughs> yeah, I the one thing that I wish that it did um, with World War II is that if they didn't do everything all at once in terms of dropping weapons. So, like, we had seven weapons at the start of the Attack of the Undead event. That's way too much for, for one spot, like, one, one spot and drop. Do that, like, two every week to keep people engaged the entire time. Yeah, so I am running Specialist right now, man. Welcome to the stream, Adrian. No worries on joining late. What I'm running is Specialist, and so therefore, every 2, 4, and 600 uh, score you end up getting, you get 1, 2, and 3 extra basic trainings. And then at 800 score, you get a like full list of them. You get every basic training that's available with Specialist, which is, I believe, like 16 basic trainings. So it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, do you get the basic trainings with the new division? Uh, new. It's not a new division. It's a Specialist, though. It's a basic training. How does the specialist basic training actually replace street? Yeah, it does. Yeah. What am I playing? I am playing. This is the map Stalingrad. Uh, we played. I am currently not playing right now. No, my camera died. Hands are not on the controller. Uh, but this was something we captured earlier in the week out at Sledgehammer itself, like at the studio. What's up, Eric? How you doing, man? Are you using a new division? No, this is. I'm using Airborne Division and these uh, specialist basic training. Yeah, uh, Jordan, I can't remember off the top of my head, and I can't show menu footage, so I can't check on stream right now for you guys. Uh, but I will have that detailed later tonight. Um, that's something that, yeah. Blitzkrieg, Requisition, Shifty, Duelist. Duelist, I don't know, maybe. 
No, Duelist probably won't be. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, favorite basic training? Dude, definitely now Specialist. 100%. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely something that I, I mean, I guess, it's, it's very similar to how they did the strike packages in Modern Warfare 3. So, that's something that, again, you don't get your DLC weapons, but, it, like, it's not all that bad. That's not horrible. You think DLC 4 is gonna be called D-Day? Uh, I mean, that'd be cool. Um, I don't know if they will do that or not, but this is epic. Glad you think so, Kevin. What's up, D-Loading? How you doing, brother? How you doing? Uh, favorite map of this DLC. So I think it's Monte Casino, which is what we're going to be showcasing tomorrow on top of the map and some other secret things that I cannot speak of yet. Um, but of these two that you're watching now, I think it's Market Garden. Uh, uh, Adrian, I don't know what you're talking about, brother. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> they need to bring out face. Dude, face off would be so fun. I would, dude. Oh, yes. If there's anybody at Sledge watching right now, please face off. That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, They're taking Able. S32. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm gonna. I feel like I'm gonna remember what what you're talking about uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Pacific and 6 p.m. GMT. But right now, dude, I I don't I don't need to what. I don't know what I don't know what's happening with that. All I know is Sledgehammer T T something about calling the cavalry but uh yeah that's i got nothing i don't know man i don't know i don't know uh ruby is my comment i feel like I <laughs> well i i'm a regular dude jordan but i appreciate that <laughs> glad uh glad again i love streams i love streams because i can interact with you guys one-on-one -on -one. Probably gonna buy the DLC for zombies. It's yeah, DLC zombies is fun. Um, I missed the Tesla gun. Yeah, it's it's uh, that's fun. Uh, I don't know Pop King. I'm not entirely sure. Face off uh, was something in Modern Warfare Three where it was like one v one, two v two, and three v three. I think it went up to right. But they were like relatively smaller maps. But they were essentially just like you know how people would always be like, yo, one v one me on Rust. They were like specific maps made for face off and like one to three v three match set setups. So it was it was kind of a cool little way to like break away from the, tr the traditional six v six and then nine v nine gameplay. Um, and it was a lot of fun, truly. It was it was a lot of fun to play around with. But this is new DLC gameplay, yes sir, yes sir. Favorite map of all time? Oh, that is so tough. I don't think that's a fair question. There's so many good ones, man. Um. Wonder why they don't drop a zombie trailer. Well, they've been breaking it up as of recently that zombie trailers get their own trailer. Um, I was thinking that we'd get one on Thursday, but I think that now we're gonna. Get oh, I apparently must have. I was. I was gonna say my my green screen was out of, out of the frame. You're seeing part of my floor. Can't have that. Can't have the the the, the cool green screen go to waste. Um, but yeah, that that was something that um, and what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the trailer. They've been doing that normally for the last couple of DLCs. I think that we're going to get it, of course, on Monday then. Because we were able to show zombies, zombies footage at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern on Monday. So I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing. Here, DLC season. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm going to be totally honest. I love World War II's. Um, Black Ops 3 had a good DLC season. Uh, Black Ops 2, I thought, had a good one as well. Um, is that perk specialist for Modern Warfare? Yes, sir. It is specialist. Yes, sir. So every... When you hit 200, 400, and 600 score, you get a new basic training of your choosing. But then when you hit 800, you get the full offering of uh, basic trainings available with specialists, which is, I believe, like 16 basic trainings or something like that. What controller do I play? I just use a standard DualShock controller. I don't have a scuff or anything. Um, how do you play it when you unlocked... Oh, dude, it's a lot of fun. You don't get any extra health, so, like, you're still, of course, you have to play it smart, and you have to avoid situations that would put you in a very disadvantageous position. But you move very fast, you aim down sight fast. It's, it's a very fast-paced game at that point. 
Um. <laughs> What's up, Donald? How you doing, dude? Staring at the camera. I know nothing. <laughs> what are those kill streaks on the side? That's basic training. So we're playing with the new specialist basic training in this gameplay, and I think also in, we we don't think I don't think we switched at all throughout the gameplay I've showcased so far that we're just rotating through. Um, but it is something that every once again, 200, 400, and 600 score, you get basic training of your choosing. You get to pick three off the bat, and then at 800 score, you get all basic trainings available that specialists will offer, which is, I believe, 16. So you don't get all of them in the game, because obviously there's some that, like, kind of are pointless, like Blitzkrieg is, you don't get, you don't get kill streaks. so, I mean, it's kind of pointless to have that thrown in the mix, but, like, yeah, so you get, like, 16, I think, is what is on offer, but... Am I gonna play World War II? Yeah, so of course, I'm we're gonna, be, we're gonna be grinding out the... This is the first DLC that I think that like I can actually be a part of the launch for, which I'm super hyped for. Um, like that I don't have class, or I don't have a trip going on. So I'm super stoked about that. I'm gonna be streaming it probably at launch all day, all that kind of stuff. So we'll be doing a lot of stuff, but... Is there high elevation in this DLC? That's how it looked in the trailer. Monte Casino has uh, like different elevation, yes. Uh, Stalingrad has a little bit, um, but it's not as noticeable. Monte, Monte Casino, there are power positions that, of course, you will notice with elevation. Um, what's up, Benny? How you doing, dude? Uh, I went out to Sledgehammer earlier in the week with a couple of YouTubers, and we actually got to play and record earlier, so we could end up getting gameplay for you guys. Did I get drop a V2 rocket? I did not, unfortunately. I think Swag got on a V2 streak, but I don't think we had it available, uh, in, in our, like, custom match build that we had. Yeah, I'm hoping TKO didn't put one of the matches where I, I sucked on. Uh, but I, there, because there were three matches of like the, because we play like for a full day. Um, like a full like work day. There were a few matches, probably three or four, which I did horrible on. I'm talking like, I, there was one I went double negative and I'm just like, I can't man. I'm too frustrated. I'm tilted. Let's go next. Um, doesn't happen often, but when you play other YouTubers that are great at the game, it's tough sometimes to, like, put on a show. Uh, so I'm hoping that he didn't put that gameplay in, but I don't know. <laughs> Alright, Derry, we'll take it easy, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, do you think we'll see we'll get new weapons trailer? Uh, I think we'll get new weapons in a new event. I don't know if we'll get one with the launch of the DLC itself, but... Are you personally happy about Modern Warfare 3 becoming backwards compatible? Yes, sir. Yeah, this isn't live gameplay right now, buddy. Uh, <laughs> hey man, I'm cool if, if the government's jealous that I get to play this early. I'm cool with that. They can watch me all they want whenever I play this game. <laughs> uh, Black Ops is Black Ops or Black Ops Two? I think is my favorite campaign. Um, Black Ops, I loved the the like Black Ops One. The storyline of that was fantastic, and of course, then also the multiple endings of Black Ops Two was. Fantastic. I love that, man. He put this one? Thank goodness. Thank goodness he didn't embarrass me like that. <laughs> DLC drops on Tuesday, so I believe it's like midnight Eastern that it drops, and then uh, whatever that is, like, converts into elsewhere in the world also. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's a fair guess, Mr. Deadpool. So is there anything new besides the maps that was released? Uh, some things I just... Some things I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, but you'll see in the gameplay that, you know, there is, uh, there's the new specialist, or, yeah, specialist basic training. Um, then we have one called Wonderlust, which is like gun game in a basic training. It's a fun, uh, fun basic training, but it's not very practical in the sense of, like, trying to do super well. And then you have one called Escalation, which shortly after you get a kill, you, you aim down sight and, like, snap quicker. Uh, and double kills will replenish your magazine as well. Uh, so you don't have to reload at that point, but... Uh, disturbed one. I got no information, brother. I got, uh... It's gonna be, It's crazy, man. Like, it's... It's almost like somebody will plant a bug in my mind that tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, I'll have something to tell or talk about because, I mean, right now, like, my mind is like they extracted any, any information I have, if there is any. And, uh, all I know is that Sledgehammer T something on the blog. That's it. That's all I know. I don't know. That, that's, that's all I know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm having too. I'm, I'm having fun with this, but I, I genuinely can't talk about some stuff just yet. 
So. What's up, Anthony? How you doing, man? Is this the new map? Yes, sir. Yeah, so we we just played Market Garden, and now we're on Stalingrad. Um, yeah, I do know you could have saved Mason. Yep. Uh, how does it feel being the best? Hey, I, I don't think that I'm the best, but I appreciate that, man. I appreciate the compliment. That That's seriously, like, one of the, the coolest things to hear, and it's very humbling, so I appreciate the... The vote of confidence and, and the support you guys give me. So thank you guys. I appreciate that, man. The map is not open to the public just yet. This will lo uh, launch to everybody on PlayStation 4 on Tuesday. Right now, myself and I believe like 15 other YouTubers or so went out to Sledge uh, to capture footage to give you guys here up on the channel. So that's something, that, of course, we'll have gameplay today, tomorrow, Monday, and then into Tuesday with a launch. So. Yeah. <laughs> I would say, dude, I, I mean... I wouldn't remember if they, they used the, the memory stick on me, but, I mean, I it's possible. It's possible. Uh, escalation is a very, very fun uh, basic training. And the way that you can kind of get around it um, with using two of them is by using escalation as your first basic training uh, slot for um, the specialist basic training. So, I'm not using it as my first here in this one. Um, I use hustle on this class setup, I believe. But you saw in the, the earlier gameplays where we were using um, uh, the STG, I was using Escalation with that. And that was a ton of fun to play around with. Like, absolutely a ton. Despacito? Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm the unofficial cousin of Jason. I mean, hey. Dude, I love his I love his accent, so I'm, I'm cool with that. If I can inherit that, that'd be awesome. Uh, I have no information, Pierre. Uh, who's the toughest YouTube? Definitely Swag. The thing, dude, the thing is, is, like, TKO is known for knifing, but the dude is a beast with weapons, too. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of scary, man. Like, he's just good with whatever he does. Um, how does specialists work in World War II? So, every 200, 400, and 600, like, once you hit those 200, 400, and 600, you get a basic training of your choosing. But then when you hit 800 score, you end up getting every, ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. No. My lights are flickering. I think somebody's gonna blow a fuse in my house. No! If I lose my stream, I'm gonna lose it, man. I'm gonna lose it! Um, but at 800 score, you end up getting all the basic trainings that Specialist offers. And so that is, I believe, like 16 basic trainings or so. There's ones that obviously would overlap and don't make much sense. And somebody's pointing out that it's probably gonna be like things like uh, Blitzkrieg and like uh, uh, Requisitions. That kind of stuff. They're not gonna be included within Specialist because obviously like they, they just conflict with how the score itself would work out and like what a streak would be. So... Um, yeah, so the new score streaks are Specialist, which again, we just described. 200, 400, 600, you get three basic trainings that you're choosing. And at 800, you get the full uh, offering is what with what is available with Specialist. Uh, one called Escalation, which you end up shortly after kills, you can snap or ADS quicker with whatever weapon you're using. And then also, double kills will replenish your magazine, so that's going to be fantastic. I know that I run into a lot of situations where I'll, like sneak behind three four people and i'll only get to kill two or three because i run out of ammo and save my ppsh but then you can just spray down with it because it'll refill it without you having to reload then the final one is one called wonderlust which is um very similar to gun game and a basic training uh instead of hitting y or triangle to swap to your secondary it'll actually just bring out a completely different weapon it's completely random every time so it's very cool but uh definitely something that is uh more fun rather than practical um yeah, new basic trainings, three of them we just described. Uh, we have uh, Specialist, Wonderlust, and then Escalation. DLC 3, I think, comes to the UK at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. UK time, I believe. Um, no, so you can choose your first three, but then when you hit 18, you have all of them. So it's not something like you're going to be missing out on... Uh, like Specialist lays out like 16 that you can choose from. Because, again, it just it's kind of redundant to have, say, a specialist uh, with requisitions or something like that. Because once you, like, respawn, like, you're not going to just keep changing it. Uh, and same with Blitzkrieg. Like, you don't get kills, or you don't get streaks based off of kills. So they're kind of redundant in that sense that it doesn't... Things that tamper with the score streak itself doesn't do anything for... Uh, and then also, I think, like, things like Shifty um, probably aren't going to be in there. Because uh, you're not going to dual-wield your weapons. Um... What's up, MGZ? Welcome to the stream, brother. Uh, do I like zombies? Yeah, it was fun. It was good. Very informative. Hey, my pleasure, Wings. My pleasure. Uh, barbecue. Again, 
I was I, I I don't have any information, but I may or may not miraculously have information tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and 6 p.m. GMT. But I don't know, man. If you guys are new to the channel and want to know about that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. Maybe turn on the bell as well so you don't miss anything. But uh, also, again, thank you guys all so much for being here. Greatly appreciate it. Drop a like on the stream. Let's try and get a little like spike if we can. Close to 300. Uh, we're gonna be wrapping up the stream. Probably gonna probably gonna do like one more pass through of the gameplay. So this one and then Stalingrad once again. Uh, and then we'll call it a stream that I'm going to go work on tonight's video. But, uh, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, subs uh, like the video if you guys, or stream if you guys are having a good time finding this informative. But, uh, what weapon don't I like? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Are there any basic trainings only? No, they should be coming to everybody because we're going to get that title update that takes Attack the Undead offline. And then I would imagine that's also whenever we get the basic trainings for everybody. So that's something that you can, you can look forward to as well. Can you do the new war map? That's tomorrow. Tomorrow is the new war map. That's going to be something that we showcase with Monte Casino, the next multiplayer map. And then maybe uh, maybe a secret or two that, uh, again, I, I can or cannot talk about. And I mean cannot when I say can or cannot. <laughs> uh, dude, Escalation is fantastic. It's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, Monte Casino plays very well as a map. There's one spot that's going to be definitely a powerhouse position. Um, and it's fantastic to play around with. But it's a great map. It's it's very well suited for close quarters engagements, but also longer fights too. Uh, so in that sense, it's 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 really Abel. situational on how you want to play it. But it's great. It's a lot of fun. Abel is lost. Ugh. Yeah, but it's you're gonna have fun with that. Thing. I think everybody will have a grand old time. No worries, Sidif. I appreciate you being here, man. Thank you for coming out supporting the stream. Uh, type 5 is a lot of fun, but it's, again, a very situational weapon. Hey, appreciate that, Wings. Appreciate that. Oh, that's that's humbling to hear that I, that my content can have that effect, man. I'm, I'm glad you're, you're willing to give it another shot, and especially because, because of the content. So thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, Escalation is a new basic training uh, in which... Shortly after kills, I believe, you uh, you end up getting, like, a snap effect so you ADS faster. Uh, and then also, like, the bonus effect with it is that if for double, double kills, your magazine is topped off immediately. So you don't have to reload. So if you have, like, two shots left in your mag, it'll automatically go for, say, the STG. It'll go back up to 30. So, in that sense, what I think of the lever action, I think it's a lot of fun. That's probably my favorite sniper. Do you think X, uh, COD exclusivity will move back to Xbox by next gen? Uh, I don't know. I know PlayStation pays top dollar for that, so I don't know if they'll they'll give that up. Uh, are there any new weapons or attachments? I have absolutely no information on that. Um, what's up, Master Hornet? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. What's my favorite weapon? Um, I don't know, man. I stick to a lot of the meta weapons just because like they're they're meta because they're so versatile. But this this cap event, I played a lot with the uh, the STG, so I, I re rekindled my love for that. Uh, it's definitely a, a, a good one for sure. Oh, okay. Again, dude, I always, when I tab out of something on my right monitor, it kicks me off. And I don't know why. I don't know why my left is affected by that, but. Love your content. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Glad you enjoy. I'm at your grandparents. Hey, no worries, master. You take it easy, brother. No worries at all. He was on the Carnage Hero stream. Good stuff, man. Sounds like Escalation is going to be useful cr for Chrome Tiger. Yeah, dude, it's going to be good. It's. Actually, that's a fantastic idea. I didn't even think of that. Especially because, like, I'm wondering how that's going to work with, like, the double barrel challenges. Because, like, what is it? Like, double kills or something like that you have to get? And that that's hard to come by if you... Because, I mean, you have two shots and that's it. So, that's going to be really helpful in that sense if it can double that. That'll be cool. Type 38 is great. I haven't played around with it much since the, uh, the nerf to it, but... I think that it's gotten slightly worse in the sense that, like, the ADS time obviously is slower, and then you have the, the re-chamber time is, is slower, too. Um, so am I ever going to use kill streaks again now that we have specialists? I don't know, man, dude. Specialist was one of my favorite things, like, from the COD franchise overall. Not just Modern Warfare 3. So I don't know, dude. It's definitely going to be, uh, definitely going to be interesting. Definitely going to be interesting, but... Um, I don't know. I played a lot with infantry and, um, airborne and then also mountain. 
or not mountain um armored with the specialist basic training but i, I couldn't tell that i like tell you that i dabbled with each individual one but yeah dude heroes heroes the man he's grinding i love the guy love the guy triple kills with the double but yo can you imagine like that's that's gonna be a lot easier now what's my favorite division uh i still think infantry i like the extra attachment slot um airborne's fun but honestly i'd probably prefer if i'm running an smg um armored over airborne because like i can deal without the extra added movement speed but the grenade spam definitely is a lifesaver with armor that you don't take as much damage so favorite weapon from the attack of the undead uh lever action or the ptrs for sure um are you playing market yeah this is the market garden map yep yeah but lever action is is one of my favorites i think like snipers overall uh ptrs is just a lot of fun to use i wish that it wasn't so clunky but they made it a lot more realistic compared to what it was in PTR, like the PTRS in World of War. Because, like, that was something that you could... Like, it was, like, the ballista of the day, but a semi-auto almost. Or, I guess Barrett 50 cal is the better way to describe it. But, like, it actually... you It's a heavier weapon. Like, mobility is affected by it. ADS time is slow. And the recoil kick on it is insane. So, like, it is something that you have to play a different sort of meta with the PTRS compared to, say, the lever action. But they're both incredibly fun, so... Can mean no more me reloading LMGs at that bit. Ooh. Great. I that's actually a, a great idea. Yo. That's a challenge I'm going to have to attempt. No reload V2 rocket with an LMG. Yeah, dude. It's it's definitely worth it. I mean, if you have the armor credits to spend and you're looking for a weapon to do before the Attack the Undead event uh, ends up, definitely recommend that one for sure. Definitely. Yeah, TKO, dude, TKO, I love that guy. He, uh, <laughs> he embarrassed me a few times in the, the capture session, but, I mean, it, it, it happens. Point is in enemy hands. Wait, what? In the air. Yeah, that's a, that's a good comparison, David. No, it's not out now. I am not playing hands, like, my hands are off the controller right now. This was actually captured a couple of days ago. I went out to Sledgehammer Games with a couple other YouTubers, and we captured early footage of DLC3 for you guys, so... That said, we're going to have content today, tomorrow, Monday, and then well into the launch of it on Tuesday. Kind of like... What? What just happened there? I was like... <laughs> kind of to like... Kind of to like prep everything and market it out to you guys and give you guys my thoughts, feedback, and all that kind of stuff. And what you can expect for DLC 3. It's a lot of fun, I'll tell you that. I'm super excited for this, man. I like. I want this on my console now to play because it is mm, so much fun. Especially, especially specialist. I need that. I need that like yesterday, dude. Did I play Modern Warfare 3? Yes, I played the crap out of that. I actually still have, yeah, a lot of, like, divot marks in my desk from when I would, like, just slay my controller from raging. I was a rager back in the, uh, back in the Modern Warfare 3 days. What's up, Stealthy? How you doing, man? Uh, will you play the other maps, Stalingrad and Monte Casino 2? Yeah, so Stalingrad is right now. We're going to finish out the live stream with this map. Uh, Monte Casino is tomorrow as well as the war map, and again... Maybe a secret or two that uh, I'm not allowed to talk about just yet, but... Keep it the great work. Thank you, David. I appreciate that, dude. The LMG shit. Oh, no. No, William. I didn't even think of that. No. I'm not playing shipment ever again. I'm not. <laughs> Can you still drop V2s with specialists? To my knowledge, yes. Yeah, to my knowledge, absolutely. Uh, Neo, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. All I know is a sledgehammer teased that in the blog post, but I, I don't... I don't I don't know anything of what you're talking about. <clears throat> 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Um, but, yeah. So, there, I mean, there, there's a lot of cool stuff still on the table. I'm very, very excited for the offering on hand for what we can show off uh, tomorrow and then zombies on Monday. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So, I think if you guys are, like... Still playing World War II, you're going to have a lot of fun with this update and the DLC if you're on Xbox One and PC. Though it comes 30 days later, it's still going to be great. You still should get all the other stuff that we end up getting uh, in terms of the update on um, Tuesday. But, yeah, it's dude, it's just it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. What was my level in Modern Warfare 3? Um, 
I think it like went to like ninth prestige and like stop prestige. I don't remember. Uh, we can always count on you for the new map. Hey, again, it's it's my pleasure and definitely it's it's an honor because like these are these things that like Sledge and Activision could could invite anybody in the world out and they choose me of like 16 people. So like, firstly, thank you guys for the support that it comes to that and like, it's just it's just an honor, man. Like I I, I don't know how to say it otherwise. Like it's just it's it's crazy to think about. But like, thank you guys for the support day in and day out. Cause like without you, none of this would be possible. So. Maybe this means less requ requisitions. I sure hope so. Ooh, I could go for some popcorn too, man. Um, why they add sliding into World War II? I, I think I saw that, but I was I was like not able to sit down and watch it at the time. Um, but that's probably just a bug because it was actually in the earlier builds of World War II. Um, was in the earlier builds of World War II in the sense that we end up. Uh, probably just seeing that continue over from core code that was left over from advanced warfare um but i don't think they, they're going to like actually implement it in terms of gameplay now maybe i'm just wrong i don't know I need ammo. love stream camp wait for tuesday dude i'm excited i am very much so excited we're gonna be streaming tomorrow monday and then tuesday also so we got a stream coming every day showcasing some new stuff and then also into the grind for just knocking out all the stuff we can see with the actual new uh new dlc on tuesday um, paratroopers do slide. Yeah, again, that's something that's just I think left over from the core code from from Advanced Warfare. Um, playing Black Ops Two on Xbox One. Hey man, that's a lot of fun still though. Hopefully, don't run into too many modded lobbies. Uh, I hope it doesn't, goats. I hope, but I'm not sure. What are things down the side of your screen? That's the new basic training specialist. So it replaces your kill streaks uh, and your score streaks with uh, perk streaks. So you see I just got Hustle right there. And your first 200, 400, and 600 score that you end up getting, if you equip this new basic training called Specialist, uh, it is something in you, which you can choose your first three basic trainings, then when you hit 800 score, you get all the basic trainings that Specialist will offer you. So there's, I think, 16 that you can choose from. So if you hit 1800, or if you hit 800 score, you'll end up having 19, or 16 basic trainings, rather, that you can, you can play around with. Though they're not shown, you'll have 16 equipped there with you, so... Um, the best you I appreciate that, Scott. Thank you, man. Uh, is G Fuel actually good? Yeah, I mean, I enjoy it. Like, like I know that I'm, I'm partnered with them, and, like, I have a code and everything with them, but, like, I I actually have been using G Fuel, like, like drinking G Fuel before I was even partnered with them, so. Um, I, I would recommend it. It's, it's a healthier alternative to, say, like, energy drinks, like Mountain Dew, Monster, Red Bull. Um, but again, it, it, it's up to you, I guess. What hat am I wearing? Um, well, I don't really want to take it off because my I woke up and I have a bad hair day today. But it's my control freak hat. Um, cool thing though is I actually came home and found this in the mail. Uh, so I, I got this for future Black Ops 4 streams. I'm excited for that one. It's it's a fitted cap, which I actually don't ever use fitted caps. And uh, I was, I think that I guessed my hat size right. It's a little snug, but, like, it's not something that, like, I feel like I'm getting a headache from wearing it. But. <laughs> uh, what about the new DLC 3? Uh, I don't know, Rixo. I don't know, man. I don't know. Again, maybe, maybe we got some secrets tomorrow on the channel. But, uh, for right now, I know nothing. I know absolutely nothing. <laughs> Um, no, this, this, you get to choose the new basic trainings, uh, or you get to choose the basic trainings with the new, uh, the new basic training specialist. Um, yeah, so, do you think Xbox and PC will ever get DLCs the same? I hope that this is the year that they abolish, like, or, abolish the right, or abolish the right term, like, get rid of, um, DLC exclusivity, but I don't know if that's gonna be the case or not, man, but. Uh, new weapons I did not see, uh, David. But that's about all I can say, I think. Um, oh, I, I don't think that I've played against Ali. I've met him a couple of times, but I don't think that I've actually played in the same game as him. So I have no idea. Uh, I'd like to say me, just because, you know, I'd like to hype myself up a little bit. But I think we're going to wrap up the stream here, dudes. This is the end of this Stalingrad gameplay. We've been live doing, like, kind of an AMA for two hours. So... 
there's any last questions, feel free to ask them right now. But again, thank you guys all so much for coming out and supporting the stream. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, let me see if uh, let me see if Hero is live because if he is, I know that he's he usually is grinding gaming YouTube. Um, and if so, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try and raid him real quick if we can. If I can find World War II on the game list, hello. I literally can't find World War II. What? There we go. One. Un momento. Un momento, por favor. Um. Okay, so no, he is not. But ears is live, live right now. So we're gonna. Oh, I'm gonna send you ears' stream. Okay. So don't go anywhere just yet, dudes. Don't go anywhere just yet. What I want you to do is I want you to go over to Hears' live stream and say hashtag espresso raid. But if you can do that, show uh, Ears some love. He's a he's a great he's a great friend. Uh, check this stream out right now. But thank you guys all so much for coming out supporting stream. I appreciate you guys. Um, do you think that Black Ops Four is the uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. New streaks. Uh, it's a new division or um new basic training rather. New basic training that um. Everybody's asking me about a new division. I just, I was like, oh no, it's, it's not a new basic training. Freudian slip. Um, but that's something that it's a new basic training, the specialist basic training, which will allow you to. Oh my, enter key is stuck. Uh, it'll allow you to pick your basic trainings, and therefore, uh, you'll be able to play around with three custom tailored, and then you get 16 if you get a specialist bonus. So go over to that stream. Go show some him some love. Hashtag espresso raid. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but go show that stream some love. And thank you guys all so much for coming out supporting the stream. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next one. My dudes, thank you all. I will see you later. Take it easy. Take care. And much love and peace. What's up, Arons? Sorry, Sorry I'm ending it right now. But uh, I'll see you guys later. Much love. Take it easy. See you tomorrow. Actually, see you in the live stream or the videos tonight. So. Adios, dudes. Thank you for coming out. Where's the tab to end my stream? I, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Cool. See you, dudes.